G'day. Hi there, everybody. It's uh, it's me, Sam, back again uh, with Denny and George um, to uh, to go over the next tournament. Yahoo! NZMEL for life. What's up? Um, so we're going to talk this week about uh, Lego South, which is happening in a couple of days' time. Very, very exciting. Um, but first, we thought we'd do a really quick recap of uh, Side by Side with a Friend. Only two weeks ago. Gosh, it's been a busy, busy month uh, for tournaments, hasn't it, guys? It's been great, though. Um, so for those of you who are regular followers of our content, which of course is many, many hundreds of people, um, Harry. Will have seen, it's, two people. <laughs> it's two Harry, people. Is it, do we have it's two, Harry and my mum. Two yeah. subscribers now. <laughs> huge, huge, huge. Those bots I paid for clearly not paying off. That's a, that's a, it's a crying shame. <laughs> um, uh, yes. So side by side, um, phenomenal. We, I think we all had a great time. I really enjoyed running bird bath, um, bird bath. Guy here never even took a wound, but it was still nice to know that if he did ever take a wound, they'd have to use a fate point that would be restored. Um, and the uh, winners on the day were, I believe, who were they? Denny, can you can you remind me who won? Uh, I think it was Denny and Denny Junior, who I've been calling Dendrew the whole weekend. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was George and myself. We um, played a filthy list and we won filthily, but I really had a fun time, and I think our opponents did. I think we got two. Favorite opponent votes uh, yeah, over the Sam, weekend. You spent, you spent your money on buying us bots. I spent my <laughs> yeah. money on yeah. buying us favorite <laughs> opponent votes. Yeah, I mean, that, just buying chips wherever he could. That's the only thing that could explain it. So that makes perfect sense, really. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun weekend. It was a really fun weekend. It was really good. Really I wish good. I could have changed double partners, though. You know, after game one, me and Denny suffered an unfortunate defeat, and I was very well prepared to switch partners. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't. We got through it together, we side persist. by side, as friends. I mean, luckily, luckily, you will have an opportunity in the very near future, perhaps, to go up against each other and establish once and for all who was carrying who at side by side. I can tell you my main reason for going to the team is to play Denny once again. <laughs> I mean, I we're all we've played it in a while. Yeah. We we are all looking forward to that, but. When, when was the last time we played? Anyway, should we move on to the Legos? <laughs> the, the, South well, welcome game. to this week's episode of the Denny and George <laughs> podcast <laughs> <laughs> slash marriage side counseling side session side by side with Denny and George. Um, all right, Denny, do you want to give us a wee bit of a blurb about yes. the league goes al sur? The, the league goes south. Uh, two day tournament, 600 points, uh, five games. Uh, rather than rolling off for them, we've got the games uh, in advance. So the first game will be Retrieval, which is Capture the Flag. Uh, second game is Lords of Battle. Third game is Capture and Control. Fourth game is Hold Ground. And fifth game will be Divide and Conquer. So a nice splattering of scenarios there. Uh, interestingly enough, I think all finish on a break one, two, rather than breaking... Uh, rather than finishing on quarter. Uh, and you've got a good mixture there of both objective scenarios and also just kind of kill them up, shoot them up. Nice. Destroy your opponent. Uh, Lords of Battle stuff as well. So Ooh. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think 600 points is a real nice uh, amount to play these days. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't mean that you kind of get all your big toys in there, but it means that you can build some pretty fun lists with at least one or two big toys. It also means yeah. you can get through like your games in a tournament setting. Yes. It's such a, such yeah. a disappointment when you're having a cracking game and then time's cold and you're like, oh, this was really coming to like a good evening. 600 feels like, you know, most of the time, there's going to be tons of time, but most of the time you're able to mm -hmm. reach some sort of conclusion. Yeah. Which yeah. was actually an observation we had last week, eh, George? I don't know what it is. The New Zealand crowd is just so friendly. It kind of takes a while to get into your games, like with all of the, the banter and small talk to oh, begin yeah, with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like you're kind of killing like 10 to 15 minutes before you're actually getting into it. And then, yeah. Oh, anyway. and uh, hey, I'm the biggest culprit of that myself. <laughs> I never find that actually. No one must, no one must talk to me for 10 to 15 minutes before <laughs> most of my games. So. <laughs> Just be less likable, I guess, is the secret here. <laughs> There's a man that's got two sportsmanship awards. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so that's the tournament. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to kind of bring up there. Oh, um, just... Hosted by none other than the, the grand wise of our council, Damien. Oh, yeah, that goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. So no yeah, Damien Meta, unfortunately, this the time around. wise leader of 
Dunedin. Is Damien playing? Do we know? I think he's going to float. I think that's I, his plan. I know we were right. sitting on 19. I don't know if we hit 20, and I know he was going to be the 20th. Either way, I mean, we'll find out. We'll look at the list. And I'm sure we'll spot the list in a heartbeat. <laughs> Any confirmation that way, if there's walls of ours regardless. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, right, shall we uh, Shall we scroll on through? Let's have it. 20 to get through, so I wish we were cracking it. Hang it out. Yeah. Nope. We should also applaud uh, Damien did our wonderful slides here for us. That's true. Yes. Very nice. He's an artist, that Amazing. man. Yeah, we've not, um, we've not worked out how to put it. He's setting a standard around. that we can't keep. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to hire him. For Normal minutes. transmission will yeah. resume for the yeah. shoddy exactly. quality yeah. control. All right, here we go. First one is a really cool list, I think. Uh, right, so we've sorry, got... Is this a 600 point tournament? Why does this list <laughs> have 44 models? This is the kind of Mordor swarm horde army that I think everybody thinks about um, when they're looking through. Uh, the book when they first come across it. I know I did, but then just never really had the uh, the courage to actually run it. So what have we got? We've got Ingold uh, leading six Minas Tirith warriors, uh, half shield, half spear, one with a banner. We've got, is it Carrion or Syrian? I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. That was 12 Minas Tirith warriors, half you, shield, half spear. Yeah. What did I say, sorry? You said six. Ah. Yeah, you're going to offend someone if you say Kirin, and you're going to offend someone else if you say Syrian. I think right, I'm going to say the Lieutenant no of Amon Barad. <laughs> Bard. Anyway, he's oh, got five Barad. warriors of Innisfrith with shield. Oh, George, I'll end you. Sorry, sorry. Um, six rangers of Gondor with spear. Then you've got Beragond uh, with a horse. He's got four knights of Innisfrith with shield. Uh, two Citadel guards with spear. Swap for longbow. Uh, and then the last one, we've got Chihi Madril with five warriors of Innisfrith with shield. Uh, one with bow, interesting, and then five ranges of Gondor with spear. So all up, we've got 44 models and a lot of might. Wow. That I'm is just, I'm just a lot of troops. Eh? Post has the model count of might count. We should <laughs> steal that. It's really Sam, when, you're, when you're writing up the list next time, please include the model and might count. It's great. <laughs> it's lovely to have a great point. Yeah. I am now currently staring at the screen working out how many bows this is. 6, yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14 plus Madril. Sound right? That's right. Yeah, Mad Madril's got a bow, yeah. Madril's got a bow. Uh, so it's Beragond, I'm pretty sure, has got a bow. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, so 15. Yeah. So the I one, personally... One warrior with bows niche. Yeah. There's got to be a model thing, right? Yeah. Surely. Oh, uh, it could be a points. Yeah, it could be a model thing. Only one point. It's not even... It's no cheaper, is it? Yeah. 44 models, though. What? With a lot yeah, of so heavy armor and shields. Shield walls. I clearly, I clearly did not get the memo. You meant to have this many models. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's not, they're not easy models to kill. There's no like, not easy models to, kill. to this. <laughs> no, I love it. They've gone for... So a lot of people would go for, you know, your fountain courts and your... Mm. Uh, you know, your fountain courts, which are... Uh, very very expensive model, a very very good model, but a very very expensive model. This way, you're still getting the um, the D7 and the the strength three and all that goodness, um, but without the exorbitant cost. So you can really just max out on models there. Yeah. Not Fuck only ranges. people like uh, don't like he's, they've not let to go for the founding court. A lot of people tend to you know at 600 points, there's sort of obvious list building thing. Gondor feels like you're going to go. I'm going to run Boromir, Aragorn, or Gandalf. Let's pick one and then go from there. Or here yeah. and Denethor. Yeah, or here and Denethor. Yeah, exactly. This, this is never something that would occur to me, but I really like it. Like, yeah, it's really cool. In, in might, you spread your heroes across the... Like, Baragon's pretty average, but the other three can hold their own. They're not bad. Plus, Marjorie in a tournament we know there's a Maelstrom scenario. I really With like the, that inclusion. He's good to bring. Yeah. He's a real good yeah, fellow to bring. Anytime. I like that. Some slightly more <laughs> underused Gondor heroes. It's really cool to see. Yeah, I mean, Ingold, um, D7, so by no means squishy. And I think no. he has the defense, if I'm right there. Um, so he has the strike no, as well. I, I think it's Erlas has the defense. Is it? Uh, okay, so he's I just got the, the other strike. Fella. Yeah, yeah, he's got the strike. He's fight four with the strike, Erlas, I think. Fight five. Fight five, no strike. Yep, yep. I'm looking at the book. He's got defense. He does? 
can't yeah. even look. The book is. <laughs> I said it so nice. confidently, though, Benny. Why do you have to I know. <laughs> uh, we, can, we can edit that in post, can't we, Sam? We uh, can edit yeah. that out. Yeah. So that's actually a very good choice for a leader then um, out of all of these. I think they're all fortitude except Berigond. So Sorry to make you he's go very back to look here, Denny. Uh, what does Syrian get? Syrian, he's, he's not he's, exactly a popular profile. We don't see him very often. He's not. He does have the strike. He is plus two courage, I think, when charging into something with Terra. Sorry? Is it monsters or Terra? Just anything with Terra? Terra. I think it's just Terra. And then he gets some kind of if blades of the deity being yes. used against him he also goes up plus two plus two. yeah just quite cool yeah cool fun fun gimmicky it's nifty it's nifty it's a nifty rule yeah, isn't it a, a rule i'll be amazed if the person ever remembers he's a maybe watcher it's like, of maybe it's so niche that you're hanging out for it spent a lot of time with the watchers of kana in his, in his younger days and now he's here to yeah. So I'm trying to figure out if those Citadel guards are actually on horse. Yeah, I wonder that when I put the list, this PowerPoint together. Does that would be cool? cool. It would be very cool if they were. I suspect yeah. not, just because of like the model, right? It's a very hard model. You know, sort of. I know it's becoming a bit more popular. It's being 3D printed and through armor release. Yeah. This sort of mounted Citadel guards quite. You know, sort of tend to see conversions or whatnot. It's true. But it, yeah, it would be a very cool inclusion for that warband. I really so like no, the mounted Citadel Guard profile. Yeah, George and I have this conversation a lot that Citadel Guard on horse, um, usually with the bow, are kind of one of the best objective grabbers Absolutely. in the game. Yeah, really good. to do a certain objective with bodyguard. And... Yeah. I mean, yeah, as I said, I love this list. It's cool. Some people would go for Fountain Guards, but with the army bonus and with the, the D7 anyway, and the pure numbers you're getting here, this is just going to be quite a tough nut to crack. It's a lot I mean, of stuff to grind through. absolutely see why they've not gone found a cards when, uh, found a court yeah. when you see 44 models. <laughs> like that's, that's good enough justification right there to be like absolutely. taking a massive gondor horde that's yeah. going to be very, very hard to chop through. Absolutely. It's enough It's enough bows as well to make an opponent come to you, which is yeah. And then, and then you're charging into Ingold who's not backing away and you know, it's not, it's not an easy battle once you get through those bows. Nah. Speaking of how I was saying how, you know, I like 600 because games often finish before time. It's impressive <laughs> this finish. <laughs> this gonna list be, was just going to go to time. I grind through it, yeah. yeah it's yeah, going to be, it's yeah. a very chewy list. Yeah. No, very cool. I'm a big fan. I don't want to verse this on Lords of Battle. I've decided. I feel like I'm not putting a dent in this. <laughs> <laughs> shall, we, uh, shall we see what's next? All right. Next up, we've got Isengard. Uh, now, you may look at those three heroes and think, gosh, is this? it is Isengard. So we've got uh, Lurts with a shield, uh, an Uruk warrior with a banner, uh, six Uruks with shields, six Uruks, five Uruks with pikes, uh, a Wag Rider with a shield, and is throwing spears, and a Wag Rider with a shield, no throwing spears. We've got Malhuru leading seven Marauders, uh, with shields and uh, seven of his Marauder Scouts, sorry, four of his Marauder Scouts with bows and just one regular old Marauder. And then Ugluk uh, with five Uruk Warriors with a shield, one with a pike, uh, a Wag Rider with a shield and throwing spear, a Wag Rider with a shield, and two Orc Warriors with spears as well. 39 models, that might. Well done, Sam. You stuffed, you didn't stuff that up like I did. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Did my best. <laughs> yeah. Um, before we go any further, I feel like we should announce that I've uh, managed to keep my list secret from Sam and Denny for this tournament. Um, this is it, isn't it? No, this is not my list. You have to okay. wait a bit. But Sam, Sam and Denny are going to play a game of trying to spot George's list. One, one guess correctly, I will, I will confess to my list. I say we just okay. guess every list and please says yes. <laughs> I feel like it's not in the spirit of the game. Maybe, maybe I'll set up some sort of hangman situation. <laughs> <laughs> if you could sort of edit that into the top right, please, Sam. Oh, sure, no problem. Yeah, anything else you need? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, back to the list at hand. The list at All hand. right, yeah, the individual was fast-forwarding to the review of our list, not to our banter, okay, George? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, am I going to be the one to say it? Yes. Is this not Alert's Legion? No, it has Yoruko Warriors, right? It's not Warriors, yeah. It's, it's got, got, got Wild yeah, yeah. Riders, okay, not, okay, okay, okay. not the Scouts. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence. But the three heroes are? 
the three uh, the same three heroes yeah but okay, they are okay, okay. it looks so it looks it's, like it's, a legislation at first glance but it's a very conscious decision here to not take it is it is but I think you get a lot of benefit out of that, don't you? You get you get the shields and bikes. You still get the, get the, pikes, the smaller yeah. the smaller scout bonus advantage. You get more of that flexibility without necessarily wanting to take a full scout's army, which is sometimes yeah. a little bit four wild on the squish well. cannon. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the main reason why they haven't gone for the um for the legendary legion there. Yeah. So they can get yeah. that mobility. I, I think uh, if you look at the scenario, huge speed, advantage. Speed's got a big thing and sort of objective taking in a yeah. bunch of these scenarios that we're playing. So the wild riders make a lot of sense, and they still get a speedy warband in Maho. And was what, there a copy and paste error here, Sam? Should that say Creebane instead of Warg Rider with shield? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, yeah, four Creebane. Sorry, that was that's my <laughs> mistake. I also just honestly. totally, totally misjudge how many models you should have at 600. This is another nearly 40. You have, I think, list. yeah. This is 40, yeah, 40, 40, Uruks 40 as well. elite yeah, warriors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys aren't mucking around. Eight might's probably about right for 600, right? Uh, I think that's yeah. I think you're, yeah, I think you're pretty par. happy with a six hundred. Like, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And how many strikes do we have in this list? Lurt has one. Oak. Yeah, I don't think Maho does. I think it's Oak. No. Nah. Maho's three attack space though, isn't he? Yeah, it sounds about has, right. I think he's three attacks. I think it's sort of his. his well, this, this is your list, George. You tell us. <laughs> you should know I'm these so things. I'm so curious for you to find my list. <laughs> I know there's so many different thoughts going around in Tini's mind of what it could be. That's Malhur, who's uh, four attack. It's three attacks, sorry. Not Oglet. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, but I mean, yeah, the heroes aren't anything really to, to mess with. I don't really know. I like, I like the hero selection. They're very, all three of them are good. Um, Isengard heroes. Maybe if you're going like. Straight Isengard and not Lurt's Legion. You could look for like an inclusion of someone like Gorov, who's very, very good in the Isengard. And he can be taken in Isengard. He's not just Dunlin. But I mean, if Maho's three attacks, Ugluck's very good for that courage. Yeah. Like this one thing this list will struggle with a bit is a terror list or, you know, late game trying to hang around on that whole ground objective. Yeah, I mean, um, it's a 66 percent break. Yeah, Ugluck just solves a lot of that terror. Hmm. You just knock off a wild rider, or, or I mean, there's two all warriors in this warband, which I can only assume are there for one purpose. Yeah. How does Ugluk solve the terror problem? Sorry. Doesn't he chop off heads and give everyone 12 inch sand fast? It's only after breaking, though, isn't it? So it wouldn't solve a, a it terror like, problem. You can't, you can't do it. It just says, should the force be broken? So. I guess it's no, only, only it, after the it, We can edit that out, right? <laughs> we'll split that out. We'll edit that out. George, have you read? You know, there's a whole rule book with that has all these profiles in it, right? Have you, have yeah, you seen this? The, the interesting no, thing I, here I, is, I sort of just work off <laughs> what people tell me over the years. Isengard is just one of those lists that doesn't really interest me, but it interests George a lot. So I thought that you knew all the rules for it, George. I thought I did too, but I mean, I've never used Ugluck. I bet you it's um, as some you know, random rule that you read. I'm a big Vrask. Until this fan. tournament, did yeah. you say? Yeah, Vrask is pretty cool. <laughs> do, you, do you think, um, do we think, I mean, part of me wonders, is this too much like Alert's Legion? Should should you, if you're not going to take Alert's Legion, should you be moving slightly further away from that structure, do you think? My only comment here, so you got the march with Alert's, you got the double strike, which is cool. I think the troops are a solid pick. Um, probably just Warg Riders for Creebane, if you're going to move away from the Alert's Legion, would be something that I'd look at. At editing there um, i think i tend to agree with sam in the sense that if you aren't taking that legend yeah you're looking at things like Creebane and things like gorolf and mm -hmm. even brasco um do we have any crossbows no we have another one four, four, which, which, I mean, which four okay. bows into throwing spears you're giving There's up, not, you not know, a lot of shooting at all great shooting unit that isengard has access to yeah i i think it's it's good and Lurch, here's a rule, Denny, from the Isengard thing. Lurch does have <laughs> his uh, benefit for the Maelstrom scenario as well. Yeah. Which is actually very true. relevant now. True, true. Lurch seems like a good leader when you know that. Uh, definitely. Scenario, like a definitely Lurch is great, yeah. It's wonder if it would look so could have been traded for, like you say, a Gorov perhaps or some of the Crabane, but, you know, if you just don't want to do it, that's a good enough reason, I guess. You don't have to. It's, it's still a fight for strength for Pike Wall. You know <laughs> exactly, 
looks like fun. And it's got 40 models at 600 points, and they're all or mostly Urukai. So. Yeah, I, I hope the model count starts to go down. Cause... <laughs> should, we see what, should we see what's next? Then get a sense of whether we're maybe, <laughs> maybe George has made a huge mistake. I'm on a Thorin's company or something. <laughs> 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 all right no, okay. seamless transition so, well done, Sam. incredible Smooth transition incredible, of your laugh, Sam. i even tried to hit the right moment in the laugh as it was coming down but anyway we'll talk about it later i'll do a sequence I, of podcasting video after this um one one thing that hasn't been talked about is last podcast i put in a seamless transition like a powerpoint effect no one commented i but i spent literally 10 minutes watching a youtube video of how i'm add this effect into a video and it like fluttered into the next list wow we're, we're learning we're learning here guys this this mom didn't even comment on the youtube videos our only <laughs> yeah. subscriber this is why Pretty you like and subscribe that. this is why you like and subscribe for this kind of quality content Thank you. all right next list is oh george take us through it oh, i'd rather not 45 mod okay sorry. oh um this next list is of course the unbar list we have as predictable, Delamar Fleetmaster Rumba is our leader with seven Corsair Vumba with shield, four Corsairs with shield and sphere, and six Corsair Arbalists, and one black Numenor with banner. Interesting. Then we have a Corsair Captain with crossbow, five Corsairs of Umbar with shield, three Corsairs of Umbar with shield and sphere, and four Arbalists. Then we have a Corsair Captain with crossbow, five Corsairs of Umbar with shield, five Corsairs of Umbar with shield and sphere and four more Arbalists for a total of 45 models and six might. And 16 crossbows if you keep and drag at home. <laughs> <laughs> and one black Numenorian. And one black Numenorian with a banner. What kind of It is a cheeky drop into this. a Dalama, into a Corsair's list, isn't it? Just that one yeah. banner. It's, when you come to the end of it and you've got exactly the right number of points spare, then that's what you do, I think, isn't it? I am interested in the one banner in a tournament pack when none of the scenarios offer banner VPs. But I guess you are fight four. And it's nice to sit next to Delamar. Do you say I guess you are fight four or I guess you are very small? Um, I mean, where else are you putting <laughs> those 25 points, really? That's yeah. genuinely what it was. Is, is it was it, 26 is, point spear, which is enough to upgrade a yeah. course here and then give him a banner. We probably should have like this is Sam's list, isn't Sorry. it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> big, big ups, big ups, big ups. How many crossbows did you say? 16. 16. Man. Only two, two, two of which are on heroes. Two mitable crossbows, yeah. Oof. Oof. And so, so when you were drafting this list, Sam, like, we, was your first, first step, like, how am I going to make sure my opponent has no fun for the entire tournament? Is that... Well, I mean, they're already playing against me, so I just sort of, I, I figured they'd be at peace with that going into it. So, yeah, they might as well, might as well just lean in. <laughs> Um, look, I mean, when drafting this list, really, what I did was I said, you got Delamere and a captain and a captain. And then it was just, that was it, really. The rest of it just came out. It it crossbow. Point, yeah. it? There were yeah. literally no choices to be made here. So I think that the hard decision with writing Corsair's number is what that third warband hero is. I mean, because you've got the Bosan or you've got Dalgamar. But um, I like the choice of just second captain with crossbow. I think any chance you can get to add mightable crossbows into a list. You'd be, yeah. you'd be mad not to, right? Like, yeah. They're so good. They can shoot into combat. They can do everything you want. Dalamere is your perfect leader, isn't he? He's got an Elven Cloak and oh, Fight Fire. Yeah. Like, oh, all sets you want. Six miles a bit catch. dubious. Definitely low. Definitely on the low side, especially if someone's going to crossbows, but it's not, not a high might army for the mid is it? Though. It's not yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, I think it might, just because you do want to call those moves and get your throwing weapons off, but in a perfect world, into combat absolutely. anyway, so you're fine. Yeah. Discussion point, and I haven't really drafted many of these lists before. Do you always go pure crossbows, or do you put a splattering of bows in there as well? Always pure crossbows. Always I wouldn't pure see crossbows. It, I wouldn't see it. Yeah. I, I can't imagine everyone, anyone even knows where their course or model with a bow is. <laughs> Probably converted into a reaver somewhere. Unpainted at the yeah. bottom of the bag somewhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for two exactly. more points, you get the D6 and you get a crossbow. I figure, you know, and they're just that much scarier. That's and so they're much an awesome scarier. model. They're a very cool they're, model. They're, they're, they're the That's coolest model such in the whole a cool list. model. Yeah. What other army gets this massive shielded crossbow that has a cool special roll and looks does dope. a lot of damage? Yeah. yeah. No, this is a very strong list. Sam. I've got no, you no critiques from me here. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. I really appreciate that. It's nice seeing as 
this is literally the only list you can do at 600 points with Corsair's release. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also like that you've gone not too hard on the spears. Like, like having more shields is really good in the list because you have that back savage fisher rule, so being able to get around the flanks. Exactly. You want a, you want a few more of those throwing daggers on the front rank that can shoot around the back. And Sam's like, exactly. But really what happened is he had to keep 25 points spear. <laughs> genuinely <laughs> I, put up, I put in the number of spears i wanted to put in and then it just happened to fall out it's like oh, honest yeah, to yeah. god you don't need a, you don't need a fucking a, like a spear and shield ball do you in this list it's not that kind of list is it but also your, your obelisks can be used in combat and you can give them spear sports they don't that's very true they lose their giant shield but you know, but they're just as just as good in combat as anyone else's in this list so yeah, exactly the hard part is keeping them up with the rest of the army but you tend to sort of sit back with the whole army don't you yeah, wait for it to come. That was certainly, people will be coming to this list. I really hope there's a chariot list just to wipe that smug look off your face, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm genuinely maybe there is. we're not going to get a list under 40 <laughs> models here. I think I've just horribly misjudged how many models you should have at 600. I was thinking, oh, yeah, there'll be a few like 25, 30, 35 maybe if it's a bit haughty. We've yet to see something under 40, right? Like, oh, this is when we find out that George's list has like 70 troops in it. <laughs> and it's just like pure goblin horde or George's something. George's goblin town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine if this wasn't Sam's list, you would, this would scream at me, right, Danny? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a very strong list is what you're trying to say. I yeah. mean, I am, I am using about half I'm using about half your models, George. So it will, it will certainly scream George on the table. That's for sure. Because I, I haven't got enough of the right courses. Anyway, um, don't make it the same party. So let's uh, let's let's head on to the next next list, which is Azog's Legion and Hunters. Nice. I'll take this 34. one. Thirty-four. <laughs> so we've got uh, a Green Alliance. So we've got Bolg with Falwag and Orcbow with Mogul Arrows, and he is leading a Warbat and eight Gundabad Orc Warriors with Spear and Shield. Then from the hunter side of things, we've got Fimble uh, with Falwag, uh, five hunter orcs, five hunter orcs with bow and a Falwag, uh, and in the last wall band we've got Nazig with a Falwag, uh, five hunter orcs with bow, five hunter orcs with no bow, and then one hunter orc uh, with the bow on a Falwag. So thirty-four models, a lot of might. A huge hitter in Bog, uh, who will be riding public enemy number one, that wag that I think everybody's <laughs> going to be trying to, <laughs> to take down in every game. Um, love the addition. Uh, I, I love the idea of going with the Green Alliance. You can get more of those interesting troops that uh, the Azog's Legion does allow you to take. So the Warbat's cool. And then just taking the D6 um, troops with the Spear and Shield. Uh, it's great. Um, I ran something similar to this at over the top this year, and it felt so weird putting up the squishy defense four to attack hunter orcs in the front with the D6 spear support in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of hunter orcs did die, but my goodness, did it pack a punch. Uh, if your opponent doesn't roll that six, you're generally cutting through them. Just yeah. bog alone packs a punch, man. He's such yeah. a he's such a cool huge like, hero. I can never and, fault someone for taking Bulg to a tournament. It just looks like the most fun you could possibly have. What about taking Bulg with Master of Battle? Because that is the, the green. Oh, yeah, he gets the green bonus, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's very, very strong. That's, that's a feral. tough leader. He's going to be doing... Oh. Like, this damage. list can put out a lot of damage. Fimble and Nazog obviously, both can put it, pump out a lot of their own being mounted. The Hunter Orcs, I can say, have two, two attacks. Yeah, and then I like wait. the inclusion of the foul wags and the warbat, just as we mentioned, you know, there's a capture the back scenario. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of sort of objective grabbing and they're both perfect for that. I mean, I really like the fact that all of these one fate heroes could potentially get taken out by a Morgul arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's been uh, doing a lot of shooting into combat with himself. Yeah, I think, I think so. they're a bit more scared of 16 Corsair Arbalists personally. <laughs> Are you? I don't know. I'm more scared of this. It's got Bulg. It's got Bulg. <laughs> uh, no, I'm definitely more scared of Bulg. I'm, um, if I was one of these heroes, I was saying I'd be a lot more scared of 16 novelists than I would some, mm -hmm. uh, some more the arrows. 
So what are we thinking Both about seconds. Thimble and Nazik as the captains of choice for the Green Alliance? I think the the obvious ones, like what are, you're passing up um, the Archer one, right? What's his name? No, uh, you were passing up Yasnik, who's got the Lance. Oh, Nazuk's the Archer? Nazuk's the Archer, yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. I, I think Yasnik's a lock in here. He's such a cool profile. And yeah, that Lance and a bit more damage out. But, but maybe the logic is you've got Bulg already. Yeah. You don't exactly need another sort of mounted big killer hero. I mean, you've got the March with Bulg. You probably don't want to use that because he's your big hitter. Um, so maybe there's an argument for taking just a generic captain. Uh, as one of the uh, hunter orcs, yep. six hundred may be a little bit low, but you could start to look towards you know a small warband of the goblin mercs. Compose a real threat and then capture the flag and other objective ones. Hold ground. Yeah, there's just nothing worse than trying to defend a flag with the threat of goblins popping up behind you and nipping off with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this scenario I'm sure we can all relate to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how many right. bows do we have? Ten bows. I think the thing with the, the Hunter Rock bow is... Elf? Did I bows? Not... Yeah, sorry, Preston. Um, you're not like there to outshoot anyone. You're, you're never thinking, okay, you know, I'm going to win a shooting war. I'm going to make someone come to me. But they're just annoying. They're just pester, you know, some soft targets here on the side. And, you know, they do a little bit of damage here and there. And they sit on the objective and shoot a few things. They're just really, really good. They're a great addition to the list. They just, you know, they, they never pack a massive punch, but when they shoot something off, it's always this, you know, big positive thing. Yeah, I mean, the thing I hate about Hunter Orcs, which is the best thing about them, is you kind of look at them and go, great, when the lines clash, I'm having to verse a bunch of double attack guys that are going to rip me to shreds at strength four if I don't roll the six. Um, but that's all good. But then as you start to engage, a few troops kind of get taken down by the bows. So you're really just not getting there in, in, in one go. Um, and then yeah, I reckon with that amount of shots, you're kind of probably going to strategically drop something into your opponent's big hero, shoot it to death, and I don't know, hopefully kill your own thing, but maybe do a cheeky wound on uh, an Aragon's horse or whatever it is that you're chucking your, your guy into. Meanwhile, Bol killed the rest of the army. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. What... Um... Heroic actions we get out of Fimble and Nazuk. Uh, so you got a strike with Fimble and Nazuk, I think, is just accuracy. Accuracy, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, but Fimble, the, Fimble point the, for point the is one strike of the, is, yeah. is good. Yeah, as I say, Fimble point for point is a fight five, 60 point, uh, three attacks uh, with the WAG. It's, 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 yeah, an auto include for me when yeah, you're going yeah. for, for the Hunters. Absolutely. Like I said, the, the one sort of Thing I'd consider is the Nazug, uh, Yasnig situation, but I think they've clearly got a good reason with thinking Bulg and Fimble can pump out enough damage. Might be a bit nicer to have a bit more ball control with Nazug with the bow. Yeah, I cannot wait to see what this one hunter orc on a foul wag does. <laughs> I've he's he's got to be the model. objective taker, right? I mean, he's got does that, he have yeah. a higher courage than the foul wag itself? Maybe. Now, there's Courage 2, but the Gundabag at all Warriors are Courage 3, which is really cool. Right, right. Yeah. <sighs> no, very cool list. I like it. I think is a list I would consider running, but alas, it is not one. He claims. He claims it's not his. Plotting something very similar only days ago, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Radio. Right. What's next on our list, folks? Oh, here we go. An Isengard list. No, wait, it's a scouts. List. Alerts of scouts, the proper scouts. So we've got the alerts of the shield and a drummer, Nurok drummer. We've got four Uruk marauders with shield, one with banner and shield, and five with bows. We've got Ugluk leading five marauders with shields. We've got Mohur leading five marauders with bows and then five standard marauders. And we've got a scout captain with a shield leading five more marauders with shields. And once again, we have 35 plus models. 35 plus models. Brooks with a drummer. That is one, that that is one speedy force. <laughs> it's very speedy, eh? That's a force that's going to capture your flag in no time. <laughs> I'm not even sure you have much of a say about it. Just... <laughs> it runs straight past you, eh? That's really cool. 
It's, like it's even a four second kite view. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, true, absolutely. actually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. How many bows do we have? Five. 11. Does Lutz have one? Yeah. 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 Lutz. yeah. And they're underrated bows. That Uruk bow is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strength three. And solid bows. They do a bit more damage than you're expecting. And then all of a sudden you're trying to catch up with them and they're moving a million miles away from you each turn. And you're like, how is this for you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of trauma versus some Lutz. <laughs> yeah. It's a very cool list, though. It's so strong and it's yeah. really well suited to 600 points. Yeah. I really enjoy the, uh, the, the fourth hero here as well. I think that's really cool. Yeah, that, that stack yeah. captain just adds so much punch. To Absolutely. Those. Strength five? Uh -huh. Yeah. Must be, yeah. Yeah, yeah captain strength five. Um, really thought about that one, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, no, it's a very good, like going into this tournament, my sort of meta prediction, I think, was we'd see a lot of Lutz's scouts and a lot of breaking of the fellowships. <laughs> so I'm glad at least one showing up, but I'm We've not been made to look yeah. at all. One and a half. It's so, it's so strong at 600. <laughs> One and a half. Yeah. It's so strong at 600. It's just, it's, you get all the toys you want, you know, yeah. as it starts to scale up a bit more, you start sort of just having to go more captains and so on and so on. But at 600, you want the one captain. It's just perfect for it. It's a great list. Yeah, I mean, like New Zealand doesn't have much of a meta, but I think recently the Lutz of Scout lists are popping up more and more mm. tournaments that I'm going to. And a lot actually of really really good players are piloting them as well. Mm -hmm. Which makes them just so much more scarier. Yeah. So you're not sure who's who's using this one, but yeah. If it is who I think oh. it is, we should be kind of scared. Yeah. We've already got PTSD from our game five at side by side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that felt like we were just trying to catch something the whole game, didn't it? Yeah. No, I mean, there's very little I'd change about this list, if anything at all. I like the inclusion of the banner. I like, like you said, I like the inclusion of the captain, the lots of bows. The drummer is perfect. Like, like, as I said all video long, you know, there's so much objectives to be taken in this tournament mm -hmm. that the drummer is just going to allow you to boost around the battlefield when you get to where you need to be. 10 might is just so much. <laughs> mm, plenty, eh? Plus, I mean, if you come up against Terra, you can just cut off someone's head and claim that's the rule. <laughs> Famously. Exactly. <laughs> that's great fun. That's really cool. It is, it is slightly more relevant, his rule, in the uh, Legion, though, right? True. Because do you lose your 66% Isengard army bonus? I don't think you do. One of the, one of the Legions, I know you'd... I think the Assault... Legion, you keep the sixty-six percent rule. Yeah, you don't <laughs> doing that. You assault one. I don't know if you're you doing scouts. So That's if a great you're breaking question. like a regular person on fifty percent. Yeah, the Ogla special rule is actually slightly relevant, you know. Then he furiously flicks the. I know well, the books now. Book. It's just that it's um going past Theodred's guard, and it's just this big smiley face, and who would ever run this? It's not in the um. It's not on the the um. The Legion? Not the Legion, no. Yeah, no, so, so I mean, there you go. It, that's nice. actually a very, very helpful rule. Really. True that. So, it, courage three or courage two standard for Oryx? Three. Three. Two. Three. Two. two. Is it two for Oryx? I think. No, it's three. It's three. I'm it's, pretty sure it's three. It must be three. Yeah. It's two for an Oryx. Two for an Oryx, yeah. The yeah. list that I don't read about. Yeah, it's three. It's yeah. the same. Scout's the same, yeah. We love it. We love to see it. Yeah, and I'm sure it's going to be painted beautifully. Mm. If it is what I think it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do do we think just just comparing it briefly with the Isengard we had before? Do we think it's going to suffer? I mean, it, it feels like it's got plenty of ability despite not having those wide riders, doesn't it? It is slightly lower models, but it does have that fourth hero. Lower. Other than mm. that, is the exact three same heroes, isn't it? Yeah, plus it's got, it's got a captain. But it's also quite a different place. So, like this yep. list is sort of a definition of a list that wants to skirmish and that's very true. And never yeah. really engage you head on. Whereas that last Isengard list wants to get stuck in and use its D654 shield wall sort of thing. Fair enough. This list, the last thing it wants to do is have one on one, you know, shield wall combat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very so cool. It'll be, it'll be interesting how they go against each other, to be honest. The next list is 
<gasps> Lutus Scouts. Oh, oh. Lutus Scouts again. I know. Oh, here Once we again, go. 40 models. What is going on? So this is about 40 models and say. it's got one less hero. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I can read this one out. We have uh, Lutus with Shield as a leader. We have one Urukai model with banner and shield. Eight Urukai models with shield and four Urukai models with Urukai bows. We have Mahua. Oh. Uh, eight Urukai models with shield. Four Urukai models with bow. And the last one is Ugluck, who has a Urukai model with banner and a shield. Seven Urukai models with shield and four Urukai models with bow for a total of 40 models and eight might. So a slightly different list to the last one. And that it is actually. Gone for the, the fourth warband that's just gone for a horde of 40 models. So really, you drop one captain for five more models. Is that right? If you go back to the previous list. Yeah, that was 35. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much the only change, right? That they're both having yeah. a drummer. That this is a two second banners. banner and no drummer. Yeah. Yeah. A second banner and no drummer. Mm. I kind of see the appeal of the no drummer when you're at that 40 model point, though. You're, you're a bit less focused on having to skirmish and, you know, trying to keep 40 models away from your opponent. Yeah. You know, it's a bit harder so, when you're in that 35. I mean, that's only five, but it feels like quite a big difference. Do you want Because these guys. Skirmish? These guys move eight already, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so is the drum just overkill, really? I think when you're in that smaller skirmish style list with, you know, the more might, the extra captain, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. Um, this one, I think, is going to play a little bit slightly different in that it wants to pick its battles a bit more. Mm. And similar round of bows, 12, 13. Yeah, 13 as opposed to 11 or 12 on the last one. Yeah, so you get a few more bows on there. Yeah. A few models, a few more bows. There's two banners. Do we have with two banners? I know there was a comment before about even one banner being too many. Of course he is. It's a different list, though, isn't it? But yeah, It's no, a different not... place, though. Your, t- your two bubbles are probably going to be separate, so it can be okay having two banners. And you don't have spears. Yeah. True and that. you fight force, so you... generally your sixes matter. Yeah, when you don't have spheres, I think a second band is really nice. Just yeah. to feel like you have some something there other than yourself. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but, you yeah, know, I just can't get over how many models we're seeing. It's insane. A lot of lads here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think just two banners is fine when you think about that. This this is max war bands, right? So they probably would have had something similar to you, Sam. Pretty much. At the end of it, just had 25 points left over. Squeeze one or two more in here, but yeah, not much, not much more space really. Yeah. Very cool. No. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. I like it. It's different. It's nice. interesting. I'm very interesting to see this. Those slight differences how they sort of have a real. It'll be interesting to see substantial impact. Go over this yeah. Format. I'd love to hear both and have a chat at the end of the day. I mean, like, what do you think? Yeah. What was the right call? Yeah. So there you go, Damien. Rig game one. <laughs> <laughs> Lutz versus Lutz. <laughs> Radio, do we have another Lutz Scouts list? We don't. No, but we do have a beautiful list. Beautiful oh, list. Who so, wants to do the honors here? Bef- I'll do this one actually. I want to do this one. Okay, so we've got Rivendell list mm-hmm. led by led by a restore. Um, already people are going. Sorry, what? Led by a restore uh, with a, leading eleven high elf warriors with spears and shields, and one high elf warrior with spear shield banner. Then we've got Gildor and Glorion with 10 Noldor and Exiles with bows Sorry, who? and spears. Gildor and Glorion. <laughs> he's, he's, in, tell me who <laughs> he's in that book. He's in that book. He's, 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 in, he's, book. In, he's in that book, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that big yeah book. I've not should, read a book. You should probably buy a copy of that rather than keep using those PDFs. Um, <laughs> Gildor and Glorion, whoever he is, is leading 10 Noldor and Exiles, whoever they are, with uh, mm-hmm. elf bows and spears. Uh, one with a spear and one exile with throwing daggers and a spear. Yeah. And then we have Surden or Curden, again, very controversial, uh, leading six high elf warriors with spears. It's, it's a hard K noise, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Have it here, folks. It's a hard yeah. C. It's a hard C. It's a hard C. It's a Latin. And a, and a, and a, and a very respectable 
33 models. 33. This oh, is Rivendell, for Rivendell list. That's insane. 33 models at 600 points. That's correct. I genuinely thought we were going to see like 25 model lists, man. When the, you, when the, Riv, when the so, Rivendell list is posting 33. Are you going to be so, outnumbered so, just, by elves, George? Is that what's happening here? You're being outnumbered by Rivendell. Are you saying this isn't my list? <laughs> So hold up here. So the, the, this this list, if it does it this way, you could have Curidan put up a blinding light bubble so nothing is going to kill your high elf warriors. And then Gildor can just move into a forest or terrain or whatever and nothing is going to be able to see those guys. I don't know. That's... And that's it. That's it. You get shot off the board gotta, before you even engage. Just got to walk up to them. Yeah. Um, can someone remind me of Noldorian Excels their eight inch eight moves? inches, eight inch moves. Is that, um, is that it? And uh, uh, Alvin cloaks and all that stuff as well. Okay. Standard wood elves with eight inch move, aren't they? Yeah. People see capture the flag and they just been like, we have to take any eight inch moving model but we can possibly take. <laughs> oh, and saw Lords of Battle and went, come to me. Let's see how many of you I can kill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all exactly. the lines even clash. This is someone who's really thought about these scenarios. I think this is a very cool list, and it's yeah, so very, cool. Very, very interesting to see at least two Rivendell characters you very rarely see on the table. So cool. I mean, you you had me at Rivendell at six hundred points. My leader is a restore. Like that's <laughs> you, you've you've got me already. I'm already intrigued at that point. You're, so, you're sort of similar to that Gondor list where, yeah, um, it, very it's true. Like oh, you have three massive heroes. You have your Boromir, Aragorn. And Ganoff, and this one you got your three Lords of the West. You're like, no, nope, I'm going to go with the Aristotle and yep. Gildor. Yep. The less is seen. That's really, really cool. So, I mean, you've only got four might here, but once Keridan puts out of his 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 aura of dismay or whatever it is, you're, you're probably not going to need to do the move offs that very often because nothing's going to be charging into you. Depending on the matchup. Uh, Depending on the matchup. Depending on the matchup. Depending on the matchup. Uh, Spear and Shields. Um, and it seems warbands are full. It seems like a points thing, I imagine. Hmm. It seems to be a theme we're running into, isn't it? Hmm. Number 600 is hard to get that fourth warband in. Big time. Yeah, so um, I like it because you've got the defensive spellcaster and the offensive one. Uh, of course, Gildor's, Gildor's, so got, Gildor's got transfix on a three plus, or whatever it's called, for the, the Good equivalent, um, immobilize. immobilize. Yeah, and he's got four will, so he can pump out a lot. Um, oh, Keridan, nice. yeah, you know, can put out that uh, one where you reroll fail to wounds. But I think a rest all gets. Anyway he does. With yeah, the special. So he can put so puts that on guild or even just a generic alpha or something. Potential to do some damage there. Um, I, I like the inclusion of the one exile with throwing day because he's really going to be your sort of mascot of the whole tournament, isn't he? <laughs> We keep in track of how many wounds the heroes he does, and you know, yeah. I hope they've got a cool converted model of some guy with actual daggers or something. <laughs> that one man, mm. although Aristotle's got them too, I guess. Yeah, you sort of lack the big damage output from any of the heroes. So you've got Aerosaur, who's he's pretty good, and he can re roll fail to wound, he can hold a right? flank, he can. yeah, he can yeah. hold a flank, he's not bad. You sort of double up slightly on that, though, right? With because Curtin offers, you know, your offensive magic through Blade Wrath, and is that the exact same as rerolling? Is that rerolling worse? Enchanted yeah, yeah. Blades, so there's, yeah. There's no yeah, point sorry, doing en enchanted, enchanted blades. blades. Not that yeah. you would remember anyway, George. After our yeah. one game, and Denny famously had a game where I cast an enchanted blades two or three times and never remembered to use it once we hit to combat. <laughs> two times, <laughs> two times, and he failed. It was with Gilgalad. He failed to kill that one Iron Hills dwarf. It was a heroic combat as well. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, yeah, it's interesting because I think most people, I don't know, us three, when we're thinking about Rivendell at 600, we're probably starting with like a Glorfindel or a Gilgalad yeah. or an Alrond and going from there. But I really like this approach here. It's um, There's no yeah, other way more to about the troops. 33 elves in at 600 yeah. points. And I, it, doing that, huge respect for achieving that. That's a big achievement. I don't know. You're outnumbering George, and you've got five, five defense six we do. mostly. We potentially <laughs> outnumbering George. George feels outnumbered anyway. That's that's the main thing. He's he's sweating already. You can see through the video if you zoom in. How was every list? How <laughs> was the Rivendell list thirty three? It's, a, it's a genuine achievement. 
far out. Oh. And and eight inch move as well on the roof. I like it's I love that so much. And and blinding light and yes and yes. Hmm. All the bells oh, and whistles. you just can't see anything with the mm-hmm. the uh, yeah. Um it's a clunk. very well thought out list of the scenarios, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very Plus cool. That, that Gildor spice. I'm excited to see Gildor on the table. Yes. I've ever seen him or not or Exiles played. So yeah. I want to verse this in the Maelstrom game. <laughs> <laughs> My one comment. <laughs> one might with Gildor, one Cern- might with Curtis. Curtis's fatal, <laughs> fatal weakness, yeah. Yeah, four might, is, that is concerning. Oh my God, I missed that. <laughs> it's... At least one that's going Mind to you, it's, well. it's sitting in the back of the map. Not doing a whole lot. Oh, that's what I'm saying. The only game I want to verse is yeah, his whole yeah. ground. Every other game, no thank you. Yeah, <laughs> or a board with fierce. nothing on it, which I know is not going to happen because they always have wonderful boards down there. Yeah, absolutely. No, very cool list, and I love the, the theme. I think that's a really, really very cool, cool fun list. What have we got next, Sam? We've got... Uh... Oh, here we are. I'm out. 45 models. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure out whose list this is. Uh, why don't, why don't you take this one, Denny? I think Sam wanted to. Okay, I can do it. Um, Go so it. we've got the Assault on Lothlarien New Legendary Legion. Uh, so got the army leader of Denny Zag, the Beast Caller. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? What was that? Was that... <laughs> we, we can stop the video there. Denny, Denny's had a new low. Denny Zag, the Beast Caller. Oh, he's, a, he's an absolute beast. Um, he is leading as a hero of Valor. Uh, five goblins with shield, four with shield and spear, two bat swarms, and four giant spiders. We'll talk about that warband later and why it's um, uh, composed the way it is. Uh, second warband is a Moria goblin captain uh, who's leading three goblins with shield, four with shield and spear, uh, two with orc bow and spear, and three prowlers. Uh, the next warband is Murray, uh, or Mizgo, for those that know him as that. Uh, and he's leading two Warg Riders with shield and throwing spears. In the last warband here, we've got the Goblin Shaman taking three goblins with bow and spear and nine with just bow. 45 models, seven might. I'm going to talk to you after the tournament, Denny. I don't want to talk to you before then. Sorry, Denny Zag. Forty-five models. That's that's only about average at this point, though, isn't it? Really, forty-five models isn't, isn't even that impressive at this point, which is the sad thing. Good yeah. grief! Should we just take do, a, a moment like to pause you. and just just suck this in? <laughs> <laughs> I like the addition of uh, calling Mosko Murray as yeah. all tournament long. We could never remember what his name was last week, and uh, we eventually settled on Murray. Seamless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us, Jenny, right. give us, give us your lecture. Yeah, Rob, go just... on, go on. We know you've practiced the speech of. For people who don't right. want to hear twenty-five minutes of Jenny telling us how great he is, just mute this now. Just skip I will, forward twenty-five. I'll minutes wave my hand. Right, st- right, start. Stand back on. Webster's dictionary defines assault as. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We've heard enough. Next list, please, sir. <laughs> All right, so I this is one of the legendary legions that just interested me. Um, so George and I, for our doubles tournaments over the last couple of years, have been trying to run uh, those spellcasters in the goblin uh, army, but just couldn't make the points work. So I thought I'd give this a go and see if it works. So the way it kind of started to begin with is kind of started with Murray and then tried to put 15 troops in there, including a banner, because that was the only way to get a banner into the army. Uh, then from there went to uh, Denny Zag uh, and so forth. But you kind of realize with the synergies of the list, and this could be the complete wrong way to run it, but having all those mortar orcs in there, and especially for these five scenarios, you don't really need the banner and the courage, uh, the fight three isn't actually doing that much when you can consider that. Can the... I quickly interrupt? Um... Is is Murray only allowed to take? Is he the only character unless they can take Mordor? No, you can take an, uh, a shaman and a captain. I think. Okay. Okay. Right. But but, but the yeah the rules are that Murray has to take orcs and yeah. okay. okay. Uh, yeah. 
continue, continue. Yeah, so from the kind of realize with all the synergies in the list, the so for those of you that don't know, the army bonus is that you're fighting at night, um, which gives you plus one on your bows, but you can only see within 12 inches. Uh, but the goblins have cave dweller, which means that you can shoot from outside the 12 inches and you still get that plus one. Utterly um, so it kind of became, wait, how many goblin bows can I get into this list? Which, to be honest, is never a question I've ever asked myself with any <laughs> any list you, ever did before. Did you have to dust off your more goblin bows from like the last time you volley fired two editions ago? I, mean, I, I definitely had to call up mum and be like, hey, there's a, a shoe box under my bed <laughs> uh, filled with terribly painted goblins from the first Bigby magazine. Can you send them through? Uh no, so it kind of went from that. And then once you've decided that you're just going to take pure goblins just to benefit from that, you realize, okay, don't really need to take the uh, the mortal side of things. And if you're going to take all goblins, you may as well take the shaman as well to get that fury up there. Uh, so that's kind of how the list was built. For Denny Zag's uh, warband, that's not actually as interesting. That's purely just a, how many giant spiders and how many bats forms that I have painted up. <laughs> and just so happen to have four and two because the old Fall of the Necromancer book from like 08 or whatever it was uh, required those for the scenarios and I played those um, so that's how we got to that list Am um, I correct in saying that the, the Shaman and Drizzy get some sort of casting reroll of Yeah so list as well? it's ridiculous every single caster uh, gets to reroll as many D6 as they want when casting spells Wait, it's not a single dice reel. It's just it's not a single. All. It's anyone's you want. Noting, of course, that wow. Mara gets to gets to take Will back with his combat. Uh, Denny Zag's already got. I think it's like five Will to play around with anyway. All right, Denny, I got one question for you. It's turn one, game one. You've declared your channeling fury. How many dice are you trying to get it? Oh, I'm, it's such a good question. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm stressed I'm out of the best one. of times so throwing two You're I'm throwing, throwing one. one I'm throwing one and just going to accept it I'm going to throw one, re-roll it and if I don't get it then I'm just going to go call next turn I'll just call a normal fury, roll one I, roll again I can't wait keep it up for the rest having, of the game having a really nice game with my opponent and a furious DD comes stomping <laughs> over, tell me how I've jinxed this fury dice roll for game <laughs> one <laughs> uh, um Definitely. So the one question that I had building this list is, yeah, it's only got seven mites, so it is on the low side, uh, was whether or not I'd go for the second sh Goblin Shaman over the Captain. Just because of that army bonus, the ability to throw up a one dice, five plus transfix with the Is, with is the there captain. a march in any of the oh. other heroes? Uh, there is no march, but the army bonus being playing in the dark, you don't really care too much about the march was my argument and also because you're only moving like five inches uh, with your main core of troops it also doesn't really matter and hopefully the way this is playing my opponent should always be coming to me hopefully yeah what happens when uh your list versus blinding light um, is, there, is there an actual like rule on that uh yeah like, so in the in the faqs you still get the plus one so, like, is, is, am I making this up from about four editions ago? Does blinding light literally illuminate yeah. the area around you? Yeah. And you can be seen? Yeah. yeah. And the FAQ has made it that you still get the plus one. You still get the plus one. They're outrageous. Yeah. Th this is slightly off topic, but do they FAQ Galadriels to be a blinding light? Uh, you mean Lady of Light that Lady we're never going to yeah. see ever again? I'm not too sure. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, continue. I've tangent it. No, no, it's all good. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm really excited to see what Denny Zack can actually do. Uh, I think the Enraged Beasting pumps, I should probably look it up before the tournament, pumps up the fight value strength and attacks by two or something. So I don't so really your, need... Your targets are the Bat Swarm, Giant Spiders, and Wargs? And the Wargs, yeah. But I'm probably going to go for those Giant... Well, actually... With the bat swarm's ability, pumping them up to fight three and then bringing everything down to half, they actually might be winning a couple of, of combats there. Absolutely. But those giant Sneak spiders, hero. yeah, those giant spiders. If I can put up the fury first, they can go into anything, pump oh, them up to fight six or whatever, like they can just terrifying. wreak havoc with four attacks, re rolling ones as well. Mm -hmm. Nasty, 
Yeah. Did, so, did you see everyone else's 35 man list and just feel like a little man or something? And I felt like the littlest man, so I took goblins. <laughs> this is revolting. 45 models at 600. No, I mean, in all seriousness, it is very cool to see this list on the table. Like, I think it's a list that everyone looked at at the book and had absolutely no clue whether is this the most competitive thing we've ever seen? Is this pretty average? Is it like I still don't really know that like, you've made a very good case for yeah, this list looks terrifying. Yeah. And I am scared to play this. So I bet you um, what's going to happen is I'm going to roll, I'm going to play all the games and realize that my uh, list building was completely wrong and I should have gone for 15 mortal orcs <laughs> or something with the, with the banner on that side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, ironically, my one critique would be I think I would have maybe gone for a few more spiders. They just there's something in the list that's going to add a lot more punch once those lines hit. Um, but I mean, then you're detracting from your 45 models and your whole sort of theme for this list is as many bows as you can and and whatnot. It's a very strong list, though, man. I like it. It's, it's a good question because I was thinking if I did have more than four spiders, would have I ran any more than four spiders? And I think I would have ran five if possible. But then trying to find, I could probably like drop a whole bunch of spears on some of those bows or something just to and drop a few models just to bring it up to five giant spiders but yeah the extra giant spider and whether or not you go for two shamans instead of a captain and a shaman were the main questions i had and, and what sort of solidified the captain nothing <laughs> In all, in all I, thought, I thought your just, engineer nah. dropped out of you and froze it. Nah. <laughs> Purely nothing. It was a let's find out what's better. If I run both and one does poorly, then I can blame it on that. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Fair. I, I like having a sort of clown in the list that I can blame all my losses on for. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like playing doubles with Jenny. Yeah. That's kind of, <laughs> yeah. Good gag there. Good gag. Um, enjoy those prowlers with the throwing weapons, George, when we do verse each other. Plus one. Yeah. Wait, so do you have three re-roll and transfixes in the list? I do. <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, once again, did you accuse Sam's opponents of not having any fun? Oh, I'm sure they'll still kill a goblin or two. <laughs> sorry. Who's got transfixes? Shaman, five plus, and Murray. Shaman, Almost. Murray, Denny's egg. Sorry, I'm not calling him Denny's egg. Jer's egg. Uh, Jer's egg. Does he get one from the list, does he? Does he not have one in his profile? He's got Fury and Rage. Sorry, Murray oh. and the Goblin Shaman have Transfix. Okay, so two. Yeah, not, not Jer's egg though. Right, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. That's slightly better. But I mean, the, 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 the Shamans is actually relevant, like, right? Like, if you're only throwing one dice at Fury... That is and now. You've got, you've got three starting, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's two cracks re roll one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I think that's the call I'll go. It's possible. I go channeling first up, roll a dice, and then re roll it. And if I fail it, then the next turn just go for another unchanneled fury and then not do anything for the rest of the game with it. And then game two be so annoyed your game one fury didn't I think go off, so. so roll two dice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, last thought is so a lot of thought went into making Denny Zag the leader purely because of the pun uh, rather than Murray. Would you guys have gone Murray as the leader? Fight four with the defense. But losing the pun's too high price to pay, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly. <laughs> this is such a good joke, you know. Yeah. I hope you've done that the classic thing of like Roden Denny's egg on the base, like in gold. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's good, an, good, it's good. a it's a beautiful ivory white. Yeah, no, thank you. Um I think it's a tough one. I think I maybe would have gone Murray. Yeah. Because Denny's egg's such an obvious target that everyone's sort of want gonna want to try to jump as soon as possible. You know, any heroic combat you can get into him, you're taking as soon as you can. If you make Murray the leader, I feel like it sort of raises a bit more of a question of who you're trying to prioritize. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Denny's egg's bad or incorrect even. like it, They're both playing a very similar role. They're both neither getting on the front rank and sitting deep in the goblin lines. I think it's very rare someone's actually going to make it through to them. Um, and I guess Murray has that thing of he is actually going to be on the second line supporting with the spear. 
But yeah. the heroic defense is just so good if everything goes south. Yeah, that's one of the things that I'm scared about. What what does Denny Zag have? Heroic channel. Just channeling. Just, just channel. channel. Yeah. Just channel. And he's fortitude. Uh, Valor in this army right. list. Mm. But yeah, fortitude normally. I guess the other thing is he, he is a goblin, so he's going to benefit from the fury. That's why um, I went with him in the end. Yeah, yeah I think it's very relevant. Because, I mean, although it is 45, I was killing, what, 23? To break it? Like, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a lot of goblins. That's what I would have thought. With the fury save. Armies this would have been. But, um, and, you know, it's not, it's not out of the realm possibility someone can break the list and then try to get your hero in trouble that way, but I think the Fury sort of shows it up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Twenty Killing 23 with the Fury Sav is like killing 30, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's brutal. No, you've, once again, you've done it, Denny. This is a ridiculously <laughs> good list. You've, you've, really? You've done well Sorry. to make me like take uh, a lot of interest in this Legion. It wasn't nice. something that jumped out of me, and I sort of was tossing in turning on whether I think it's strong or sort of where it sits in the sort of competitive spectrum, but I think this looks very terrifying. Huh. Yeah. Shall we do another 10 minutes to challenge any how smart he is, or shall we should we move on to the next? Why not both? <laughs> next, why, why not both? Why not both? All right. I'm going to wave my hands now so that all of you who muted when I told you to mute can turn <laughs> the sound back on. You are safe. Uh, the strange man is not going to hurt you. Uh, <laughs> all right we're going to the next list oh geez oh it's the same damn thing oh god <laughs> mute mute again mute again <laughs> oh my god this is terrifying 44 but, uh, that is a lot of prowlers Ooh, the mighty yeah, I take everything back my, my thesis is wrong <laughs> Have you been yeah, done? I like, I like, I like this one way more than yours. You just spent 20 minutes telling us how much of a genius you are, uh, and you've just been immediately done. Oh, I'm sorry. Very next list. The answer is just more prowlers. These things are lethal oh, at plus goodness. one to wound. Denny, can you tell us why you didn't take more prowlers? <laughs> He's got no good reason. There's definitely there's no reason for it. It's models. This <laughs> it's model. Same reason you got four spiders. It's just, yeah, it's it's models. just models. All right, I can run us through this one. Yeah, go on. We have, oh, um, good, 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 good. Uh, good even better good, assault good. on authorian lists. Uh, <laughs> we have Bruzag, the beast caller. Oh, it's even better than mine. Yeah, his name's better, isn't it? <laughs> um, four more goblins with an orc bow. They have orc bows today. There's no such thing as a goblin bow. That's um, the thing to fix that on right now, George. Yeah, sorry. I can... I'll move on. Uh, one let's more have this, goblin let's have this with a uh, bow and a spear, goblin warrior with a spear, four more goblins with a spear, sorry, and four goblins, goblin prowlers, one bat swarm, and one giant spider. And in second more of them, we have a more goblin captain. We have three goblin warriors with bows, two goblin warriors with bows and spears, two goblin warriors with spear, and four prowlers and one bat swarm. And our last warband is Muzgur, uh, orc shaman, also known as Murray. Uh, one orc warrior with a banner and a shield, two orc warriors with unidentifiable equipment because it's hidden by Sam's beautiful face. I'm assuming shield. Spear. 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 A spear. Yeah. Uh, we have four orc trackers, six wild oh. riders with misc. Shield and throwing spears. Shield and throwing spears. Shield and throwing spears. Oh. And then a bat swarm. <clears throat> uh, for a total of 44 models and six might. I stuffed up. How's there 44 models in here with all these prowlers and riders, wag riders? It, it does seem a lot, a lot of throwing. It does. Uh, it, it really, really does. Six wag riders looks like it's going to pack a punch with that is as well. Serious. It is a few less spiders, but the prowlers, man, the prowlers with the plus one to wound. Mm-hmm. Like, how many bows is this one? Is it similar? It's four. Five, I think they've gone for a different. Eight, nine, oh, ten. Gosh. 14. Nine bows. There's four or trackers. Ah, oh, the trackers, of course. And the throwing weapons with a whole bunch of, what's that, 14 throwing weapons. So they've kind of gone nuts to fury. 
That's fair enough. It, 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 it doesn't it, care it, about engaging. Yeah. The last thing this thing wants to do is engage. It just wants to skirmish you with, with goblin bows and a whole bunch of throwing weapons. This is very cool. I like it. Um, very cool. Six but, wild riders yeah. is a lot, but I actually don't mind it in a um, with forty four models at six hundred points. Yeah, yeah or forty four models, but also with that <laughs> tournament pack where objectives yeah. all over the place. They're perfect objective takers. Uh, we have three bat swarms, which I really really like. Think so much mobility, so much. Sure up a lot of the army's weaknesses. Of the big These areas. guys are everywhere. Yeah. Um, they've gone for a sort of bigger mortal contingent than you. Yeah, definitely. Some fury. And, and, and I think they're right for it. It'll be interesting. Oh. I think I think you're right. I think... I, mean, I hadn't really thought about just chucking in six wild riders. That seems just to make everything better. <laughs> <laughs> Can um, can wag, wag riders be the target of Druzak? They can, right? It doesn't just have to be like a foul wag or something. I'm not sure. I think it has to be a wag. It Does the wag just... riders have the keyword wag in them? Surely. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they do. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can always just dismount, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> they have to stick around. But don't you have fury on Druzak? Oh, Wag Marauder has the Wag rule, so I assume a Wag Rider does. Speaking of the Fury Jersey Wag situation, like two editions ago, I'm just going to tangent off here. There used to be this really funny list of <laughs> you'd just take Jersey and as many Wag Riders as you could possibly take, but this is pre war bands. And then first turn of the game, you channel Fury and just dismount every single Wag Rider. Oh, so you double and, the troops. And you just double your army and turn one. <laughs> That's sublime. I love that. Not that I think this will be the strategy here. I don't think the first turn is dismounting six wild riders. <laughs> but it's an option to have. Oh, interesting. Wild riders don't have the wag. Cool. Keyword. No. That makes me happy. So the no, targets are two. three bat swarms and a giant swarm. It's probably enough. I like, I, the bat swarm to me seems like the obvious um, yeah. target there, doesn't it? So can you run me through Enrage Beast, any? I'm pretty sure it just pops up the fight value, strength, and attacks up to two. Encourage. Encourage, yeah. Up by two. By yeah. two, yeah. Yeah, so your bats are going to fight three to four attacks. Strength five, maybe? So nothing to sniff at. And your the spider's, spider's going, going up fight six. six. Yeah, uh, uh, strength six and... Sorry, strength seven, I think it's strength five. Um, and four attacks with the venom re rolls. Angry spider. Mm. The, the Prowlers is such a cool addition. I really like I like the model as well. Yeah, it's a cool yeah. model that I only it's have three very, of. So that's a very cool enjoyed. model. You should have picked one up earlier at a New Zealand Hobbit League final. I should have, but, but I got those three, three sheriff militias. So I'll <laughs> run those with my ruffians. Well worth it. Chickens. Well yeah. worth it. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's, a, it's a very strong list. It even just looks more fun than yours. Yeah. It does. It's just cool. <laughs> so, so six wild riders are just screaming at it me. Is, yeah, it is. It is. That's so big. And and I think most importantly, this person's professional enough to know the names of the heroes they're playing. And I think that really says it all about their dedication to this list. Each one has a hero done. Murray. <laughs> Murray and Denny Zag. I just think this speaks to someone who has got a clear sense of what they're bringing and what they what the models actually. Yeah, I, th I think I think they're a cheesy war gamer, whereas I'm just fluffy there and just there to like, have fun. And... We can tell from the last thirty minutes you didn't put a lot of deep yeah, thought into yeah, this. Yeah, no, 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 no. For all the deep thought you put into it, um, you've just been absolutely. Um, so, so George, is this your list? Yeah, be I was funny. About to say, is, be this quite now, is this the time now I reveal this is my grand list? And oh God, it's... please, 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 please! <laughs> Unfortunately, not. Damn, that would have been I, cool. I'm really wishing it was. Bull dead saying, into admitting it's better. That's so good. I'd love to be the guy with 44 models. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is right. happening, man? <laughs> Can we actually get a like count on what the average model count is? We are well the lowest is Rivendell with a mere thirty-three <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> a mere a mere are we pitiful sure this is Elven thirty-three. <laughs> Gee whiz. Yeah, maybe Damien's just massively mucked up the, the counting rule at 100. All uh, right, what do we got next? Hopefully it's a three model army. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, a, a 20, we'll take it. All right, it what, it's, it's still a lot of wounds, uh, uh, the 20. It's still a lot of wounds. Is it, is it not I was taking a few seconds just to process this? Yeah. Yes. I'll go through it. So we've got a Mordor and... Dark denizens of Mirkwood. Uh, nice. Ally. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so Warband One, we've got the Mouth of Sauron with the armored horse. He's got a Wag Rider with throwing spears. So two of them apparently, and another Wag Rider with a shield and throwing spears. Uh, then we've got Shelob, and then we've got the denizens list with a Spider Queen, two Mirkwood spiders, five giant spiders, five foul wags, and three bat swarms. This is someone that didn't buy all the blisters that were enough to play the Fall of the Necromancer book from 2008. This is terrifying is what it is. Good grief. Quite, li quite spider, literally, yeah. Spider Queen quite and literally. the Shelob, right? With a little with with a two plus strain. Them. Yeah. Nine spiders. The, you can tell what the plan is there. It's just Mouth of on training courage and Good is this Damien Mitchell? <laughs> this is someone trying to get over a phobia of spiders. <laughs> As someone with a current re extant phobia of spiders, I genuinely, on mental health grounds, cannot play this list. Yeah. So <laughs> even though it's 20 models there, George, your bat swarms, what's that? That's a lot of wounds there. Giant spiders, that's a lot no, of wounds there. We're and not counting spiders. individual bats now. Guarant <laughs> oh. Guarantee this is more wounds than whatever George is bringing. That's. Yeah, <laughs> just that, just that wall band is. Yeah. yeah. Once again, I'd like to reveal this is my list. <laughs> no, this is very cool. It's, um, it's cool. Yeah, I think Spider Queen is going to be so much fun to play with three bat swarms. I think you're always she just. Lob's going to be fun to play with. Yeah, I mean both of those. You can just pick whichever heroes you want, right, and just mm -hmm. kill them. This is <laughs> How a, fun um, to kill them. Yeah. Interesting one. I've always struggled with Shelob. I know the profile was amazing and lots of people have great success with her. I've never worked out how to do it. I've never got that profile right. Uh, like, take the Hereth Ungul, Legendary Legion. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that helps. But <laughs> it's, be a, the answer. it's yeah. a very tricky profile to use, I think. It's so dangerous, but it's so vulnerable as well, you know? Yeah. Spider Queen's the same story, isn't it, in that sense? A lot of vulnerability there. Spider Queen's a bit more forgiving, but yeah, it is still a glass cannon. This is extremely immobile, actually, too. Hot oh, damn. Yeah, it's like other players read the player pack and work out. <laughs> yeah. A lot of numbers that are highly mobile. It's actually really good in capture the flag and hold ground and divide and conquer. You just bought Durin and 18 half guard, haven't you, George? That's. No, but I did have to like write down the scenarios as Jenny was reading them out at the start of the video. <laughs> the first time so, I back, that was the back, first time. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, I think after game one, once I completely fluff it, I want to swap armies with this person it's and so run this because it looks really, really so fun. So much fun. So it's much because fun. Because you fluff your game one fury roll, Jenny. It's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. You can so get much past fun. it. Please, I really want you to fuck that game with just the perfect jinx. George, who hurt you? <laughs> Someone, and then I didn't save it on a six. <laughs> hey, um, I don't know if there's much more to say about this list. Mouth of Sound, no. two plus courage, uh, drain courage. Everything else has got terror. Bat this is definitely keep things like in check. my favorite list in terms of like uh, fun so far. This looks yeah, like just be like an absolute blast to play. Awesome fun. Yeah. Five might's a bit concerning, but um, you got a lot of mobility to sort of counteract a bit of that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In, in, just interesting play here is if every game is break one, two, you can get to a situation where your fast mobile army um, can just take all the objectives and then hope you roll that one or two after you break. Not that that's a gold standard strategy, but yeah, could be fun. Skinny top player. Top yeah. <laughs> Break yourself and roll a one. <laughs> <laughs>
just MSVG things, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the Black Riders. All right, all right what's up? What do we got next? We got... Ah, this is George. Oh, there we oh, go. Thank just... you. <laughs> this person has just put in an enormous shift, drastically lowering the average <laughs> model count of this. Model tournament. count. We have, can I do this one? Because I have, feel like I haven't had a turn and I want to, you know, really yeah, go, through, go through this. Yeah, well. Uh, it takes a long time to say anything. And I'll, okay. <laughs> uh, this is a Fangorn list. Fangorn. So we've got Treebeard with Mary and Pippin. We've got One Eat with Treebeard and Mary and Pippin. Then we've got Quickbeam uh, and also One Eat. And that is all she wrote. I'm kind of upset they took Mary and Pippin just because it adds two more models to the list. <laughs> <laughs> A mere um, six models. I guess we should start off. Can someone remind me on quick being? He's just a quick moving in. Is he moves, 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 moves eight. I don't think he has strike. It's genuinely like I just didn't get the memo that if you can take a profile that can move eight inches, just take it in every capacity possible. Who would have thought we've seen quick beam and Gildor? Look, it's the scouts. All right, we make sense, but everyone else. Sorry. I just, I just love this because, okay, Lord, uh, Lords of Battle, you're probably going to win it, <laughs> um, straight up. But it's an auto one essentially, and then yeah. every other objective game, you can literally just throw one of your big models onto an objective and just keep barging everyone three inches away from it <laughs> the entire game. <laughs> just win that way. It's, did, did it's you just, such a rude list. <laughs> did you ask who hurt me? Who hurt you, man? <laughs> <laughs> just saw it with his ends. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Noah's ends. I hope this isn't Noah. Noah is dangerous with some ends. I mean, Noah's I ends, of course. Man, I'm really glad that I bought all these spellcasters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's like Fangon. You don't get to see it. It's a very cool list. It's That's so really like cool. I can't yeah. look the movies and the books and stuff, and it's often like left like, aside. But it, I mean, it's awesome. like it can be good. Well, that's the thing is, I've never met a Fangorn player that's a cheesy war gamer. But actually, if you read the players pack, uh, this does really well. <laughs> Probably captures the flavor with the hardest game. But other than what do you that, mean? That's why you got, got the eight. You got quick bang. <laughs> he's got he's got yeah. March. The clue is in the name, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, you've always got to have a hardest game, and that's just going to be the hardest game. It's still, you know, feels pretty good. Also, there's something to be said for having your hardest game game one. You just, yeah, you know, true. You're happy from there. You're just cruising. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be happy just rolling dice with Fanghorn? Yeah, exactly. I could happily spend a whole tournament. It's my idea of a good tournament. Absolutely. Is it, is it bludgeoning? Yeah. Is that the name of the... Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, I, I'd happily spend a tournament just bludgeoning people. <laughs> I'm just throwing rocks with Mary and Pippin and just taking that body count. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, much fun. No, nice. I think you're actually... Said something like two good points there, Jenny. It does actually do quite well in a lot of these scenarios. Like Lords of Battle, like you say, is a very, very short up game. Um, as long as I'm getting rolling that six, it's going to do well. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I um, love me a list that, res- that rewards you for rolling a six. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is why I took nothing but goblins. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely the guy who has a lip symbol on his, on his D6 that's on the six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's much more to say about this list. It's very no, cool. I think it's true. Yeah. Six ends, four ends, yeah. and two hobbits. Wham, bam. So when I fluff game one, I want to run this one for game two instead. <laughs> so this one, this one. All right. Next, we got Helm's Guard. Whoa. That is Who's a strong, it? strong list. A strong list. Uh, should I have this one? Yeah, go for it. So you got Helm Hammerhand with horse. Interesting taking him with the horse. We'll discuss that later. Um, five Rohan Royal Guard uh, with horse and throwing spears. One Rohan Royal Guard with banner horse and throwing spears. Then we'll band two. We've got a captain of Rohan with the heavy armor, shield and throwing spears. Uh, he's leading 11 warriors of Rohan with throwing spears and shield. Uh, one warrior of Rohan with banner, throwing spears and shield. And then we've got a cheeky king's huntsman. Uh, who is leading six warriors of Rohan with throwing spear and a bow. The only way to describe models. the king's huntman, huntsman is it's cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's 
Is King? I'm just going to fix out of the King of Huntsman here. Such a cool profile. Such a yeah. cool profile. Such a cool profile that never gets. It's a cool concept. Of, yeah. Um, it's cool concept. It actually provides quite a lot in some of these scenarios as well. Like, it's sort of a good unit to sit at the back of your flag while the rest of your cav goes off and does things. Man, it would suck if you ran an army that gave plus one for shooting uh, in the dark. <laughs> against all these strong spears and hunts. Sam, do you want to put your hands up so people can hear what Jenny yeah. starts sort of waffling about his own army again? <laughs> God forbid. Heaven forfend one of us would waffle about our own armies in one of these videos. <laughs> Never. I've waffled about my own army, we just don't know it yet. <laughs> this is it. Um, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Helm, Helm's very, very strong. Helm is 600 as well. Phenomenal. And He's, 600 is the, yeah. Yes, yeah, 600, 600 is where he fits in. He's loving life at that points limit. Um, I like the addition of the captain getting March in there. Does the huntsman huntsman just have accuracy? Maybe what does he have? He's just accuracy. He's just, He's just there accurate. with two might, and then once he kills a hero or a monster or something, he gets all his might back. Oh, so cool! Who needs That's... Legolas, man? Exactly. Give me seven huntsmen. Do I have to take Helm in the Legion? Probably. Why is he not a King's Huntsman Legion? <laughs> King's Huntsman Legion. Twelve King's Huntsmen. They've killed so many spiders. They're now named after them. They're the Huntsmen. Mm. Look, sh strong hammer, strong anvil, um, and you've got enough bows to force engagement if you need to. It's just a, a very, very tidy and strong 600-point list. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can't fold it. Helm does give... Like, sorry. I, I was just saying, I quite like the combined arms. Um, you know, lots of people when they build this list tend to go full foot, full cav, mm -hmm. whatnot. This is sort of your perfect... I've got a little bit of cav. I've got a big shield wall. Well, not shield wall, but, you know, decent <laughs> yeah. enough. Do Helms, Helms throwing spears become spears as well? Is he one of the legions with that rule? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's strong. It's strong. He's strength five burly. He's a burly? demon. Yeah, strength five yeah. burly. Yeah. It's bulk, he, ladies and gentlemen. He can just throw as much might around as he wants and mm. not touch his store, right? What does the rule say? Just. Yeah. Pull whatever you want, and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like he's got a mighty hero, and he's got a free hero at combat or something. A turn. Yeah, okay, okay. That's, so that's literally incredible. You're calling yeah. you're calling a move and a combat every single. Time. How has this man got two might per turn? What on yeah. earth? What on earth is happening? And it's starting at seven. It's not even starting at four or three or whatever. A bit more sort of respectable 27 models, though. We're sort of... That's true. ...nearing the territory of where I'd be happy. I mean, whenever I'm looking at model count with Cav, I'm always times that by two. So really, I'm considering this to be like, still in the, the, the mid-30s. Is this a good number of Cav, do uh, you think? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. When you think of the bubble of what can actually be put into a heroic move, it really is just three Cav on each side. Interesting that the captain's not on a horse. I would like to have seen that in a perfect world. Yeah. He's sitting with the Rohan contingent for you, right? There's he is, but I mean, you know. Yeah, whack yeah, on, on a horse behind whack him. Whack on there. Yeah. I, but, I like to think it's because he's strictly bodyguarding that huntsman, man. <laughs> because we, once that huntsman died, this list is falling apart. <laughs> God, it's a cool profile. I really, really respect who took this because. Because that's a cool profile. And you never see it. And it's actually good in this list, Legion. Like, it's actually relevant. Mm. Somebody, somebody thought 19 throwing spears wasn't enough. Sorry, 25 throwing spears wasn't enough. They needed a little more shooting. <laughs> 20, <laughs> it's King it's Huntsman, it's the, 25 throwing spears. Everyone's got I them hope, except for Helm and the Huntsman. I hope these guys get within 12 inches of, of a certain <laughs> goblin list I know and just mutilate it with plus one more and throwing spears. <laughs> It's so good. All right, and on see, that, shall we? Shall, shall we? Shall we? Shall we move right on to the now. next one? Yeah, let's move <laughs> on to the next one. I'm, I'm done with you guys. <laughs> all so right, all right, all right. Radio, and on to. <laughs> there go the hands. There go the hands. It's you, seamless. You think this is Wayne's world, Denny. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, radio, the breaking of Ooh. the fellowship. 
I can I can read this one out. Yeah, go for it. This because it's awesome. yours. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. The, the gag is up. Um, so we have Aragorn Strider with Elvin Cock and Elvin Dagger as the leader. We got Legolas with Elvin Cock and the bow. We've got Gimli, son of Gawain, with Elvin Cock and Galadriel's locks. Uh, with Boromir of Gondor with Elvin Cock and the Golden Belt on a shield. We have Mary with Elvin Cock and Daggers and Old Dorian. We've got Peregrine took with Cloak and Daggers as well. And we got Frodo with all the goods. He's got Mithril Coat and Sting and some hidden wall gear. And we've got Sam with Elvin Rupp. And an Alvin Cock for a total of eight models and a whopping 19 might plus Aragorn. So just, you know, infinite, infinite might. Can you might. fight with the Alvin rope and then win the roll off on a three, four, five, six? <laughs> <laughs> what about, that's your question. That's your one is, question after reading all this. Counts is paralyzing <laughs> someone, doesn't it? Is it? It's like putting them in the I, sack. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Brutal power attack to tie them up. <laughs> Is Someone's going to have to run through this. How's it? No. Is, okay. Is, What's this? What's a joke? <laughs> yeah, but now I'm genuinely curious. For the Elven, uh, the Elven Rope thing? <laughs> yeah. It's not a, no, it's not a weapon, right? It's not a weapon. You can't yeah. fight with an Elven <laughs> Rope. God, Jeez. George is a cheesy war gamer. <laughs> You imagine going to going to Damien. You imagine going to Damien this weekend and saying, okay, you, well, can, you right, fight with a rope, first, can't you? Firstly, firstly, I was joking. This is not my list. This is not my list. And secondly, I imagine a rope sort of used in a similar way. Use a towel on like a, you know, you're in a kitchen on a similar. Is it a whip? Is it an elbow? Is it Corsair yeah. guy that does the whipping? Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah, it is. Exactly. <laughs> Samwise Dalgamar. Samwise Dalgamar. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, if people aren't this is uh, dark. coming into this as well, Banter, they want us to talk about their lists. So let's go. Do we think that 19 asterisks might is enough? <laughs> okay. we think that eight in, all ser- enough? In, in all seriousness, though, I genuinely love this list. Yeah, um, that's really cool. It, it, it's And 600 is obviously where it caps out. It's the perfect point zero for this. Yep. I thought we would have seen three or four personally just because it's such a cool list and this is your big chance to run it. Um, so I'm glad to see we've at least got one. Um, it's just sort of everything you want to play. It's all your fun things in a list. It's so mm-hmm. themey. It's so cool. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite legions in the game. The way the models like, interact with each other as well, like, you know, Legolas with his thing and Gimli and yes. everyone has their own little fun thing. It's just so much fun. That's yeah, the it's ultimate cool. MSBG experience, isn't it, really? Yeah, Bringing yeah the fellowship. exactly. It's, it's everything you want. It's it's just, and and you get to whip people with your elven rope. Exactly. <laughs> it's just, you know, when you're playing the game normally, and if you took this without the legendary legion, you know, yeah, your your models can do can end up like I don't know, Legolas or Gimli just kind of like dying very quickly, or some something can go wrong, and you just don't feel like you're playing these big mythical legendary yeah people from the films. But this lets you do that. So yeah, it's really cool. All right, um, uh, pop quiz for you guys. I'm going to say that the character and you're going to have to tell me what the special role is. No clue. Uh, Aragorn. Uruk Bane. Dagger. Oh, Sam. One now. Uh, Legolas. Reroll. Failed to hit. Reroll well, one. Failed to hit. I don't know. Well, then three sounds, inches of Denny, Denny, get out of your book. No, no. I need it. I mean, I'm also I'm also on the book as well, just on my. Oh, on you're my in the book. Right cool. Oh, game ruined. <laughs> um, I would All literally right, get zero if we did this game. The, the viewers I think can, I would have got them anyway. The viewers just, can yeah. play along at home with me. Hear that, mum? <laughs> <laughs> mum and Harry, our, our unknown subscriber. Um, no, like I absolutely adore this legion. It is so cool. Um, is it, maybe it's worth going through what they get. There's like there's like the wee mini game in it. You have to defend Frodo. Um, I think I can Damn. like Al- Alvin Rope is an active ability, not a not a, not a war gear. Sorry. Oh come on. Yeah. I think me- I think the daggers are re-roll fail to wounds. Fail to wounds. Gimli gets a re-roll jaw rolls like three times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boromir gets wooden uh, creature. Sam gets a very useless. <laughs> 
he gets an automatic six on climbing or something like that. And jumps and leaps stuff. He jumps and leaps. Jumps on and Frodo gets a three up blinding light. Yeah. Does he have to pay Will? He gets a free Will point for each turn. Oh, goodness. That is really cool. And Boromir gets woodland creature. He does. And they're all, all banners within three inches of each other. All get fortify spirit. They all get fortify. And they're fearless. Cool. Shotgun not playing this in Lords of Battle. I don't want to play this full stop. There's, there's nothing <laughs> satisfying about killing your heroes. You know what I mean? Like even I don't want to have to verse something where my 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 end game of being happy is killing Gimli. Do you Sad. Feel, do you feel disgusting that this person's taking this fun theme list and gets, you know, he's only got eight models, so the game the lovely team at Games Workshop have decided to give him a special rule that lets Frodo cast Blinding Light every single turn so he can't be shot, and then you've decided to take a Legion where that in fact just illuminates them. <laughs> Look, I, I feel triggered that Gandalf is just sitting right, bottom right of screen. <laughs> he serves yeah, no I purpose anymore. Him. You don't need him. Who'd um, ever bring Gandalf? Who'd ever bring the full fellowship anymore? You got the break. Yeah. It's just better. <laughs> Gandalf's a waste of time. Get out of here. Yeah, this feels like they're back, but in pod form kind of things. <laughs> um, is, is that how that actually works with um, Blinding Light? Pods. Is that what works with Blinding Light? Like if say say, uh, Denny's list hypothetically had access to a twenty-four inch bow, and this list had cast one in light, could then that bow shoot the max twenty-four inches? That's no, I can shoot eighteen. I can shoot eighteen. But that's that's the oh, if I if I had access to twenty-four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's how dark and dark is light. Yeah. Okay. So your your legion just no matter what scenario is makes it dark. The only thing I can think of would be uh, Pale of Darkness. I don't know. How, I'm not sure how that works. No, yeah. that I think it's similar to the Lady of Light. You know, the wording is in Blinding Light has that text that illuminates things. Yeah. Whereas Lady of Light doesn't it say you're casting Blinding Light. It says you can't be shot within six inches of effective that. And yeah. it's the same with Pale of Darkness. I need to check the F- I think the FAQ is something like um, if, if the... Uh, if there is something to illuminate like Gandalf's blinding light, what would happen? And it says you still right, get the right. plus one sword. Right. This is blinding light in this list, though. The yeah. Yeah. Frodo is, Frodo is, is actually this casting is blinding Frodo light. Frodo is casting blinding light. Yeah. 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 Anyway, thanks for making it about me, George. Let's, let's talk about the breaking <laughs> list in front of us. Um, I mean, I've, I've said my piece. I love it. I would I would happily play it's this just, for it's six so tournament cool. games or five tournaments. Yeah. It's so cool. It's so much fun. They're all unique. No, I didn't someone, yeah. No, just oh, as someone traveling down some from Wellington, I wish I'd taken this. <laughs> like the model <laughs> count take. size going through going put, through the border put them in your pocket. And, yeah, it's just it's exactly. so easy. Yeah. Put in my puffer jacket. I bet this player is as concerned as I am seeing the 45, 35 model count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a <laughs> lot. Bit. Of what we've managed to, to get 19 might with an asterisk next to it, though. So each one of the actual fighters is going to have to kill, you know, 10 models per game at this which, rate, though. Which they, which they can do. Which they can do. They can do absolutely, but um, they're going to have to. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. Big list. Nice. Shall we move on? We will to think, the next list. Do you think What's that? Galadriel's locks are an Elven weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, moving on, moving on. Gross. And did, did you move on? Is it, <laughs> are there two? Yeah, the, uh, the Elven dagger that Strider gets is an Elven weapon. There we go. So that's, what about that's the daggers of Noel Dorian? Are they? They should be, they but they're be. not. Are they I not? They count as Elven weapons. No, no, that doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't seem right. If Sam's that's ridiculous. Does, surely the dagger does. That's an FAQ. Sam's rope does count as another weapon. Yeah, I just looked that up. Yeah. yeah. The daggers right. still don't. We're moving on. If I hear the word the phrase Sam's rope one more time, I'm going to lose mine. <laughs> um, okay, so I have clicked the next button. Uh, this, is the, <laughs> this is the next list. Okay. Uh, it's, should, it's, should we critique it in comparison to the previous <laughs> one? <laughs> the previous. Hmm, which fellowship? I mean, this is once again the break of the fellowship. Uh, I like how, how this list is taken Sam's Elven rope. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can I just say to the, to the guy who brought this list, I'm really sorry we're going to skip past yours so quickly. Um, they won't know which one is which. Don't skip past my list. That's the joke no, 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 no. <laughs> We've finally found my list. <laughs> you, yours yours <laughs> was, was the previous one. one. <laughs> we're sk yeah, we're my, skipping the. No, mine was this one. <laughs> this is the other guy's one we're skipping. Yours was the previous one we looked at in great detail. Um, <laughs> so the next list is another breaking. No, no, it's not. No, no. This is this is not a breaking of the fellowship. This is Moria. Very opposite to the breaking. It's about as 40, far away from 40, the fellowship as you're gonna get. Forty-six models with a you guys, are you guys sure models. Dave are you guys sure Damien isn't playing? Hang on, hang on. Let me go through this. Let me go through this for all our Spotify listeners um and our Sanctuary listeners. What, um, what platform does your mum listen on? <laughs> YouTube. Okay, good. MySpace. Uh, v contact, perhaps. Uh, right, so we've got Moria Goblin Captain with Shield leading four goblins with bows, four goblins with shields, four goblins with spears. Uh, we've got that same warband again. I oh, know we've got a Moria Captain with a bow leading four bows, four shields, four spears. Then another Captain with a shield leading four bows, four shields, four spears. And then we've got another cap Goblin Captain with a shield leading one Moria Goblin drum. Three flappy bat swarms and one cave troll with a hand and a half hammer. Bazinga, that's 46 models and eight mine. Um, my mum doesn't use MySpace, Sam. It's, um, she got confused. Yeah. She thought Tom Anderson was my brother and to keep on. <laughs> It's incredible messages. Your your ability your ability to bring, to make bring it back to you after three or four months of me going through this list is a genuine it's an achievement, eh? You know, you know you were sitting there thinking of that while you spent ten minutes reading out how many Mori goblins we had in this list, thinking I'm going to say this. This person's bought a forty six model list and you've decided to cap it all for the for the bad joke. I've, I've had my, I've had I have a list of MySpace jokes in my head that I've held since like two thousand and six. And honestly, the opportunity to use those jokes doesn't come up very often. I've, so. I've not even commented on the fact that it's another forty six model list. How is it a forty six <laughs> model list? How is it a forty six model list with, with a cave troll, troll and, and three bats, bats. <laughs> and four goblin captains? What is going on? Has the world gone mad? You know, my critique would be drop the cave troll just for an entire another war band of Captain Twelve more goblins. Just swear really it double down. Got to push these numbers up. These are rookie numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I swear at finals, the average like model count is like low thirties. Yeah, well, it's eight hundred points. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> this is so good. Um, I love it. But yes, is Damien Let's go playing? Because if so, this is 100%. Damien is George, the only it's, mad it's, man it's, Damien it's, it's as if people actually read the players pack before deciding their armies for this tournament. They went You're four objective this, games. Army, <laughs> New meta. New meta is this forward. Could, yeah, this, this, could be me. this is definitely you, George. This has you written all over it. <laughs> True. Yeah, no, it turns out a horde's very, very good, isn't it? And yeah. This is a whore taken to the next level, though. This is, I've this just is taken a more goblin games. <laughs> Although at the same time, we we are in a position where the Moria Goblin Horde is still only one model ahead of the next two lists. <laughs> that, okay. that, that just goes to show how how big the numbers are getting. Um, how is everyone's knowledge of the drum? I know the drum and the legion. Is it exactly the same? Does it? Yeah, Asian inch banner. I'm pretty sure it's weaker. Yeah, without the, the but the it's not a VP. Not a VP. Room. Something like that. Players. I think it's an eight-inch banner, and it doesn't matter for VPs because none of the scenarios in this tournament have mm -hmm. banner VPs. True. When you have forty-six goblins, I think an eighteen-inch banner sounds pretty damn good to me. Three bat swarms is good three bat swarms. Is cool. It's a good way to counter out the fact you've only got goblin captains. I mean, granted, you have four of them, but mm. you know, get them stuck on a big hero, try to hold them up for a bit. Then a cave troll to do a bit of damage. Yeah, I'd like to not look at this list anymore. <laughs> How many bows do we have? 12. Uh, uh, 13, one on a captain as well. That's oh. What is with this? Who, who at home so, sits there and comes up with this? I, I just think there's going to be a massive shortage on Moria goblins across New Zealand. 
<laughs> there, there is a lot of gold. There's going to be a shortage on every model across New Zealand because apparently <laughs> they're all in Dunedin. Yeah. It's just startling all to me. 33 Rivendell models are in Dunedin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how is, how is the, go- the Goblin Horde is still on your 13 models more than the Rivendell? Like, it doesn't the, have a named the, hero to its name. The Goblin Horde <laughs> is only six models more than like the, the Lurtz's Scouts. Hey, that, that's like, not slack on the Goblin Horde. That's just no, it's not, else. but it's a sign of how like how nuts, nuts the numbers are. I mean, they're going to have to assign names to these captains, right? <laughs> I think that one can be cue ball. That one can be eight ball. That one can be... And Sam? Uh, you can... Hoju? you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are you saying more a Goblin captain with bow is not... As good as Mori Goblin Captain with Shield One, Mori Goblin Captain with Shield Two. <laughs> Mori no, Goblin know. Captains. I don't know if there's anything more to be said. Here. There is nothing more to be said yep. here. Mori Goblin this Captains. Person, this person that's the new meta. playing this list has just gone completely insane. <laughs> and, I, and I love it. <laughs> I mean, it's simplicity, isn't it? It's just like, bang, I know it works. Mori Goblin Captain 12 Goblins. Thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Rinse and repeat that wall, man. Bang, bang, bang. Knock it out of the park. Done. Someone got to 11.59 and thought, damn, I haven't put a list in yet. <laughs> Wait till you come to mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The name of my list. All right. And here's George's... No, no, no. Um, we've got the riders of Theoden. Possibly can I, can George's I go for this list. one? Yes, go for I it. I go for this one because this is literally the exact list that I took last year. And I had so oh, much really? fun with it. Yeah. Oh, really, Denny? Tell us more. Yes, so, yeah, on. more about me. Yeah, so you got Bad in here with two Rohan Royal Guards with throwing spears. Then you got Aomer just chilling by himself. Dernham with two Rohan Royal Guards on horse with throwing spears. Darwine with one Rohan Royal Guard with horse. Uh, and then Gameling with all the good stuff and one Rohan Royal Guard with horse and throwing spears. And there we go. Um, can you spend 25 minutes talking about this list, Denny, so I can work out how to play my list? Yes. So essentially, if I recall, Sorry, just to is this, your list, George? this is genuinely my list. This is George. Is Costello. it actually? Uh, ah. Yes. So, so what happened is at about eleven p.m. or maybe it was maybe ten p.m. or so. I was. I had a, I'm flattered. I had a very very <laughs> long two weeks and was like, oh my god, I need a list in. So I sent Damien a message being like, hey Damien, do you still have the list from last year? And he's like, yes, yes, I do. And I was like, oh, I'll take my list from last year. It proved me well. It did very well last year. I was like, cool, just lock me in for last year's exact list. I think the models are still in the case from last year. And then I was like, what is my favorite thing in a tournament? My favorite thing in a tournament is beating Denny. And then how can I make that better? I was like, Damien, can you send me Denny's exact <laughs> list from last year? <laughs> <laughs> and then he sent it to me and I just replied saying lock that in so my entire goal for this tournament was to take Denny's list from last year not change it in a single way even though there's some very blatant changes that need to be made in this list just to beat Love Denny it. with his own list that's amazing like, I, had a, I, was like, he's, I was like this person's even taken AML without anything around him this is exactly the way that I put the yeah you made a comment down. being like wow like someone's actually just taken my exact list yeah, like, yeah who would be crazy <laughs> enough to do that so what I loved so about good, this like, list was Damien sent me the exact like picture of your list and I was like incredible yeah, incredible you're about to have fun George it's so much fun I'd love uh, so much it, fun it is, it is the 12 models concerns me, considering no. you're complaining about your low model count last the year. The 12 models worked last year, <laughs> except for our one game. Um, because what you was have the average model count least... last year? <laughs> Wouldn't have been much. So you have to kill at least one hero in order to break this list. That's the, the cool yeah, part. Yeah, genuinely, can we talk about this list a bit so you can tell me how to play it? Um, yep. Before we get into that, though, things I would change about it this year specifically is I think you would drop gambling. I think I think gambling is a pretty a pretty big drop this year. Um, yep. The ban of VPs aren't there. You just get two captains in there or something. You've got fifteen might already. It's it's more than enough. So to um, the death and destroy the supplies were, were ones last year. Yeah, so that's yeah, both bad yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I said to Damien, I was like, look, if I was to do anything, I'd be dropping gambling and making a few things. But the idea of beating Denny with his own list. <laughs> far, more, far more appealing to me so leave it in there 
little did I know he was taking some goblins in the dark and 40 <laughs> I've, I've given up on that pipe, pipe dream a long time ago I'll be lucky if I can win one game now it's I've never played a single meter. game with this list um, I've only just secured the models for this list thank you guy uh, I, yeah, thank you guy, thank you, guy. <laughs> we, appreciate, we appreciate you I'd like to work out how you distinguish the one rule guard without a throwing weapon my, my, I use the um, Aowen model <laughs> Thankfully, at the last tournament, I had a roll guard arm fall off. So, there you go. That could Perfect. be a good option. Yeah. Um, no, I'm actually, this, this, this looks like a lot of fun. My fear in it is the fact that it's very hard to play. This Legion is notoriously difficult because yeah. mistakes hurt you a lot. Um, there's a lot of rules to remember. You yeah. sort of got to be very particular in how you execute that first charge and whatnot. And yeah. having never played it before, I don't even know what Dune Helm or Day One do yet, but um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. That's cool. Um, yeah, have fun with gambling. Turn one, it was Moonlight, uh, the, the Moonlight scenario. Uh, gambling went into Madril, uh, Logan's Madril. And I thought, oh, this is cool. This would be fine. Like, no way he's going to gonna OTK me here. This will be all good. So, anyway. Goes into Madril, fluffs the 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 to wound roll and the Madril rolls double five and then gambling fails his fate. So in my first round of combat, I had lost my bet. <laughs> well, well, that's good news because I've pretty much said I don't think I need gambling. Yeah, there you go. I'm happy if he's the one who's fluffing and the others aren't. Um, is there a reason Emir has no one with him? Uh just because he is big and doesn't need anything. For the scenarios last year, there was just that one Maelstrom scenario every other yeah. scenario you're kind of coming together so it doesn't really matter and i'm a uh-huh. big fan of just having um a one drop warband right yep there. so you can see where your opponent's coming my yeah. experience of playing this list is versing you last year with this list so i definitely learned some lessons from it then yeah what not to do roll <laughs> sixes again it's a, it's a list that rewards you for rolling sixes which is nice <laughs> No, your heroes absolutely ran through me. Thankfully, it was an objective scenario, though. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think Diddy had forgotten about. Yeah, thankfully, it's an objective scenario. What, what are all the scenarios this year, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I bet like, you with my luck, I'll get you with To the Death, game two against this. Is your even To the Death? <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, Lords of Battle. Oh, yeah. It'll yeah, be maybe. sweet. Yeah. yeah, I'm just hoping I'm not missing the ints or a breaking, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I think this list is actually pretty screwed with a lot of scenarios. <laughs> but as long as I get that one game against Denny, I need to win, you know, at least one or two games. So I'm up on the high tables with Denny and then gloriously fail. But as long as the pipe dream of being Denny with this list is alive. It was just, I just, it was a moment of pure love of. Uh, for me? No, no, for my own list, deciding I'll just reused my list from last year and then it was a moment of pure just want to beat Denny to tell Damien give me Denny's list don't change it what was your list from last year just out of curiosity uh, so, so uh, that right, that's right that's right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just a really like a really, good strong list, list. really strong really strong, list. You know, <laughs> strong at, list at one last year could just take it again you just know? take it Great again that, probably it's still in the yeah. case it's packed ready to go <laughs> No. And there's no chariots this year, so is it more than twelve models? Nothing that hard say? count is it? That's, that's more than twelve models. It's, <laughs> that's loving a bunch of those scenarios. It's, no, I'm looking forward to this. It's, it's a fun thing. I've never. Played that's gonna be so much fun. Legion. Yeah, it's a cool yeah. legion. We can have a fun car ride down, Sam. As I'm learning all the rules, <laughs> playing on the glove box. I think I know them too, actually, which is just crazy. I've pl- I played against this many times. I've never played I, believe, I believe we've secured I Peter a Kane for our travels down, and I think he knows a few Rohan rules. So Huge. Quizzing him. We'll drill you on the way. <laughs> All right. Good luck, so How would you run the... How would you draft a better list than this, Sam? That is the question. What's next? I'd bring 16 crossbows <laughs> and blow it off the field. That's what I'd do. Um, like this. Oh, that's oh. right. You bring more troops because it's an objective <laughs> tournament, George. I'm not even the only runner. <laughs> 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 
Because sure if we set that up, how sure they have 25 bottles? Year, That's wild. <laughs> All right, shall I go through the yeah, better uh, writers of Thad <laughs> list? Uh, so you got Thad You're in insulting with... yourself, man. With okay it. with that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's bringing five riders of Rohan, uh, three Rohan Royal Guard with horse. Uh, then you got AML with everything, five riders of Rohan, and three Royal Guard with horse. And then Durmhelm with five riders of Rohan for 25 models and nine Asterix might. Who's the Asterix from? Only, only, only nine. Not sure. No. I think the Asterix is the death. Okay. Uh, sure. Might. But anyway, that, that is that is you have everything. We just talked about dropping game link, which they've dropped, and just put in a bunch more troops, which is exactly what you need, George. In like an objective more, tournament. A yeah. more sensible version of what you've picked, yeah. Oh, a hundred percent if I was writing this. This is, this is a less this. lazy version of what George picked. <laughs> One that's not motivated by spite. <laughs> Straightforward, just spite. <laughs> it was motivated by me being. Who a hurt you, George? Let's just chew in tomorrow. I've not done it. I'm spiteful. No, this is 100 percent the correct way to. 100 uh, percent the correct way to write this list, given the scenarios we have. Oh, there's no band of EPs. Don't take gambling. Yeah. Stuck with me in nine might as a result. Oh whoa. Yeah. Fifteen. How is this list 25 models. Yeah. It's it's good twenty five as well. Fifteen enough bows, for, yeah. Enough royal guard. Enough royal guard, but not more than you need. Yeah, exactly. So you got all the the fight five, fight four on the charge, which is excellent. Aomir's just hits like a brick, and so does Dernhelm. George, when you read her um, rules, yeah, you'll be pleasantly to, surprised. That one, just mm. a bit tricky to use, huh? Yeah. So really, the, the the trick to this is just going to be protecting Thadden, which honestly doesn't really matter that much, considering I think most games it's only a maximum of like two or three VPs for leader kills. Mm -hmm. um, it's all going to be about maneuvering. And hey, if you've got twenty five models <coughs> on horse, I guess twenty six if you want to dismount old Mary over there. Um, that, that's that's those. enough. Yeah, that's enough. I like the ratio of Rohan riders to Royal Guard as well. The six Royal Guard are there to mm. grab some objectives with a bit of bodyguard, charge that tier thing when you need to. Yeah. It's nice to have that bodyguard option there. But other than that, I love the 15 bows. It's, it's real skirmishy scenarios, as we've pointed out. Yeah. A perfect unit for that. I just respect that someone has 15 painted riders of Rohan. <laughs> I wish you did last year because he might have been looking a lot better. <laughs> I can't believe Denny's being blamed for this. Yeah. I cannot believe you're making this Denny's fault. Like you've done, you've done yourself irreparable damage. You should have been there on the battlefield at side by side. This was me for two days having to bear the brunt of an angry George. That's the worst part. Is he still wins anyway. He's just he's a miserable, miserable prick about it. But he still wins on the list. I just God. Be the same with this. Here we go. What you should have brought. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Yeah, 15 we'll riders are 100 bows. The list she tells you not to be scared of. It's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, the, it's the three perfect heroes as well, isn't it? It is. It really yeah, is. You know, it's the, they're the three you want. The others are just the, the chaff. That it's the family. It's the family. Can you hear that hurt in George's voice as he slowly <laughs> realized the error of his way? <laughs> so, so is it Count of Monte Cristo? Oh, what's that? that anyway. gambling, though. Look at that 5 4 gambling. You're all good. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. No, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, All right. What else we got, folks? Please not another ride as a theatre. Just... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, is this another Moria horde? We're, we're, we're wait. Who brings Depths of Moria to a 600 point? Depths of Moria. <laughs> so folks. Rude. Folks. All right. Straightforward. Jenny, this is you the... have no right to be talking about rude lists. That's fair. Um, <laughs> my bows can't touch that Balrog, though. So I don't Balrog. know how much can at 600. Maybe Bolg. <laughs> yeah, sure. Maybe Gildor gets a lucky transfix. Maybe Dalewine, Dernhelm, Gameling, Aomir, and Theoden with a scattering of bodyguard. All at once. I've yeah. seen that. I've seen that fail before. There's, there's no way Balrog charges something in her up combats and kills two heroes in a turn, right? That's not a world we live in. <laughs> no way. Anyway, okay, I'll go through this quickly. So you've got the Balrog, 
Uh, he's got five Moria Goblins with shield, uh, five with spear. Then you've got Captain with shield. He's got three Goblins with shield and three with spear. Another Captain with shield with the exact same warband. And then another Captain, but this time with an Orc bow, changing it up, with two Goblin Warriors with shield and two with spear. 30 models, 30 models, which is a lot when you consider that you've just spent over 50% of your points on an absolute Valley. beast. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, now I'm confused. What is the asterisk about on this one? See, Belrog's free combats, I guess. Okay. Okay. okay, good. Mm-hmm. As long as Damien doesn't just throw around free asterisks. <laughs> I, I, I really put a lot of effort into earning my asterisks in my list. <laughs> Waste some say waste sixty points, seventy points on any <laughs> um, so I've, got, I've I've not got much to say about this list. It's a very very strong legendary legion. Yeah, um, it's a very it, strong. It's got it's enough numbers. Yeah, yeah, it's got enough numbers which you can sometimes not get with this list, but they've crafted it very well. The the third captain is interesting. Like the the other two warbands aren't full. Next down, close to full. Even the Balrog's Warband isn't full, so yeah, I guess I you could do that. I kind yeah. of like getting the extra might in there, though. The, the list feels like it could be a list that would suffer if it's... Four might is pretty... To, yeah. yeah, the Balrog the yeah. needs might to move around and yep. get you in got the right it. place. And, yep. and yeah, so I think maybe it is just an element of getting the extra might in there. Forward even just a march, more. even just a march everywhere with an objective game. Yeah, so you can just yeah. throw your ball of death of Balrog into the main combat and then just have a bunch of captains with a couple of troops mm-hmm. running this, around the board. This picking up gonna objectives. Have to, like a lot of or even a little work in a lots of different places in this one. Mm. So having the extra move ability to the march. Oh, I don't want to boost this list. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about you think about what we've seen so far, every list we've looked at so far. I don't see anything that can really deal with this Balrog. No. Anything anywhere. Absolutely, absolutely not. Nothing. I don't even no. know what list comes close. Bog, purely like nothing else. Touches Bog's probably the closest, thing. yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. If Bog, you if you if can cut Bog through the chaff. Damage. Yeah, I think like fives and threes or something. But if you can like cut through the chap with a bunch of heroic combats or death, position yourself well, maybe. Yeah, but even then, like even if you, the best you can do is tie the combat with the Balrog and then hope that you roll a bunch of sixes by six. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. maybe the breaking of the fellowship with the yeah, that would be Elven, fun. Mm, that's true. That'd be cool. Elven yeah. rope blade. Yeah, <laughs> rope. Or mighty restore. Yeah, something quite yeah. funny in that Gandalf had to fight. The Balrog to protect the fellowship, but now you're saying you're breaking the fellowship could have actually handled the Much Balrog better line. place without Gandalf, <laughs> yeah. thanks. Much better without Gandalf. I'd, I'd actually give the fellowship a sure up victory if they had Gandalf as well. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out in the movie they should just turn and fought. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. No, I don't think there's a lot of discussion with this list other than it's. it's going to have a lot of fun just running around the Balrog and killing whatever hero it wants. There's not much yeah. they can deal with it. Yeah. All right. Away! Are we going to get your, your hands, Timmy? Do the hands, Timmy? One's your hands, please. <laughs> <laughs> and one in the seamless, morning, okay? <laughs> another seamless transition. <laughs> Jazz hands. Um, this list is near and dearer to my heart and the fact that it's only seven models so I can move this one out. (laughs) (laughs) It is one of two lists with less than one. There's more might than models. (laughs) Double. (laughs) Uh, So we have a Thorns company list with Thorn Oak and Shield as the leader, Dwellin, Biffa, Bomber, Dory, Gwen, and Gandalf the Grey for a total of seven models and 16 might. What do we think? I don't want to listen. Lords of Battle. Is it all of them? Oh, Lords of Battle. No, it's not all of them. No, it's, it seems that all 13 missing? of them. Heaps of them, yeah. Philly, let's, Kelly. Let's talk about the models that aren't in the list. Kelly, Philly. Bofa. Bofa? Can anyone Nori. name? Nori. Nori. Or, Ori. 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 Goblin nerds. Bofa? We said Bofa? Yeah, we said that. That's close enough. 
Owen. Oh, Balan. Balan and Dwalin. Yeah. Yeah, no, Dwalin. Oh, no, it does. It is Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It is taking the best, though, hasn't it? These are the, the sort of iconic ones yet. Like Biffer, I know, is very strong. Dwalin's very strong. Gloin's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, ranking them, it goes Thorin, Dwalin, and Gloin are your combat ones. And um, yeah. Dory's actually kind of a sleeper as well. What one's Dory? Uh, Dory's the axe and the head one, isn't it? Isn't it? Is that right? No, no, no that's, that's Biffa. Biffa. It's Biffa. Biffa Dory's like got the strike and I think three attacks right, right. as well, so he's good. Um, Bombar's interesting. I don't, from memory, think he does anything does relevant. He does he divvy out will or something? Or? Something like that, maybe. Oh, right. Someone... Are you on it? Yeah. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, I think I, he's like, I, he... I have a funny feeling he divvies out will. But I mean, I also uh, got the Ugluck rule two he hours does. ago wrong. He does. He does. Do that well. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the first time I've ever got got the rule over you guys. Incredible. Good work. Nice work. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you, I don't think we can fault this on the dwarfs that have chosen. It's clearly all the right ones. And the addition of Gandalf's what you want, you know, adds so much control to the list. Could this be a list that could take on the barrel? No. <laughs> <laughs> not even with Gandalf. Oh, it's resistant to magic with like ten will. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. I I take my take my question back. Does it feel like perhaps it's been stymied by the breakings of the fellowship? It's sort of yeah, like retro breaking of the fellowship. Eh? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also glad someone else didn't get a memo that it's subjective based on our as we <laughs> have to take 45 models. <laughs> Move five. <laughs> exactly. That's He's going to struggle yeah. getting across them. I'd love to see this and capture the flag just Gandalf on defense with Sorcerer's Blaster. Why <laughs> 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 sends his little dwarf sword? <laughs> it's quite cool, actually. That was quite cool. It's a cool image. It's exactly, it's exactly how I'm playing this if I'm playing it. So that Gandalf sitting at home just... <laughs> Playing pool, basically. Yeah, playing Bloom's Tower defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, great. it's a great game. This episode um, brought to you by Ninja Kiwi. <laughs> 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 no, it's a cool list, but yeah, exactly. It feels like uh, it feels like breaking the fellowship last year. Hmm. Sort of stolen the thunder a bit, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. But no, it's going to do a lot of damage in combat. Like a lot of damage three, in combat. The three big combat ones around there. Mm. Plus, plus Biff is so good. Yeah, I already read him. Yeah. They have, they have no FAQ that you can't like a piercing strike. <laughs> with the X blade <laughs> in your head. With, with the X blade <laughs> in your head. Because <laughs> that's, that's a rule that needed to be fq <laughs> <laughs> I remember like two years ago maybe <clears throat> Denny took him to finals and I was like oh my god Denny you can do this <laughs> you can piercing strike no. you can guarantee to get the kill it turns out you can't do that I mean okay, you could can not. I think you stick it two hand as well <laughs> <laughs> well no hand <laughs> no hand <laughs> two hand piercing strike the axe on his head yeah. jeez wild times so, yeah, and that FAQ is ruined but ruined before He's just he's oh, no. unplayable now, unfortunately. No, he, no, he's a, <laughs> he's a regular <laughs> elven rope to secure his game. Regular elven rope. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thoreau's company. Are. Is this last but not least? Uh, last but not least is Mordor. Here we go. I want to read this one. I, read, I, want, to, I, want, to, I want to read this one. I really is it do. our first and only Mordor? Should, should we let Sam read this one out, George? First, first and only pure Mordor. All right. We've got Shagrat as our leader, folks. Um, with his heavy armor and his very cool sh- horse shield. I, I would like you to read the full title. Please. Yeah, Sorry. I mean, if Sorry. we let you re- No, you're right. No, that's that's entirely reasonable. Put a bit of heart into this, please. <laughs> Shagrat, comma, captain of Kirithungal with heavy armor and shield of Kirithungal. You missed the semicolon. Sorry, you're, sorry, you're right. Shagrat, comma, captain of Kirithungal with heavy armor, semicolon. Shield of Kirithungal, semicolon. Uh, nine black... Shag- Shagrat would have sufficed. So. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit much. Yeah. You know, you do this a fifth time because I'll do it a fifth time if I have to. Right, just the last <laughs> one, guys. Just bang it out. Uh, Shagrat leading nine black guard, one black guard with a banner instead of a shield and an orc tracker. 
<laughs> then we've got a captain of the Black Guard with a Black Guard drummer and nine Black Guard of Baradour. Then we've got an Orc Shaman with five Orc Trackers and, drum roll please, a Mordor Siege Bow. The drum rolls in the other warband. Um, <laughs> awesome. Huge. 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 <laughs> yeah, sorry. Well, I was laughing because I love that the uh, Black Guards, you're paying 25 points. And they have to lose their to shield. Replace, yeah, to replace <laughs> the shield with a oh, banner. Why? Than just adding <laughs> Whose idea was this? Because they're obviously so OP that you need to nerf them somehow. <laughs> I, I like that they've clearly taken their, their first war round of Shager at nine Black Guard, and then they've had to send a message to the only other person in the country with Black Guard models, being like, can I get your nine Black Guard? <laughs> Because, you know, obviously black card players are in cahoots with each other and chatting all the time. This is only two of them. And they've secured all 18, 19, 19 black card models in the country. And they're and all right. I, I, I just added I, 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 a siege bow. A siege bow. <laughs> My favorite thing not? about this list is not taking a shaman with six trackers. It's taking the shaman with five trackers and then putting one of your trackers <laughs> in Jagrat's Warband just as some 4D chess play. That's, a, that's <laughs> called an honesty bow right there. That's an honesty <laughs> so bow. So cool. Can someone run me through the black card profile? Uh, fight. fight four, four, strength, four, strength five, five, defense six, courage four. God, it's everything you want though, isn't it? Everything you want for a how, mere how 12 points. points. 12. 12. Fight for strength. Strength five is decent. Strength five is a lot. Yeah, strength five is a lot. Um, That's a lot. Six trackers and a siege bow is going to do a bit of work. Yeah. I don't know. The siege bow is still on a five up the hit, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, siege bows are kind of those things where they do nothing all tournament until they do something epic in the <laughs> yeah. tournament. Yeah. And then you get to spend the entire Saturday night dinner yeah. talking about that one exactly. epic moment you see right hit. Exactly that. Yeah, the, the epic thing is worth it. they hit. Yeah. 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 Um, so how you flung back D6. I love that they've taken Shagrat, like genuinely one Shagrat's, of the sleeper profiles. Can you say the four names, please, George? Yeah. Sorry, Shagrat, semicolon. Uh. <laughs> it's a comma, you noob. Um, I'm literally. skipping. <laughs> um, Shagrat's a phenomenal but, profile. Phenomenal, yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal profile. profile. The black yeah. guard captain, on the other hand, good profile. Must be uh, six, what's that, six, fight surely. five strength. Is it fight five strength six? No, it's no. Strength six. No, is no, it capped out at strength five? That's a bit. It must do. There's no, there's, I haven't looked. There's no way they got a strength six on the captain. Yeah, I think strength six is limited to monsters. Yeah, strength five. Strength. strength five. Yeah, okay. Is there is there no man strength six? Is there no man? I don't think there's a man strength. Oh, Elendil strength. Elendil strength five. five. Yeah. And yeah. Isildur. Yeah. Hmm. Bjorn? And Bjorn. Bjorn. You know. Sure. Yeah, when he turns to a beer, then he's more. Ingram Bjorn. Anyway, black, should we talk about the list? Black <laughs> guard and a siege bow. 20 black guard and a siege bow. It's egregious. It's the worst 12 it's months I've ever heard. It's still 32 <laughs> models. It's still 32 <laughs> models. <laughs> I'm wounding, uh, wounding you on fives all over the place and just chop, chop, chop. I love it. So it's D6. Everyone's running it on sixes. If you do get through the combat, mm. you've still got a cheeky shaman fury save in the back. All right. Well, I have the, the, I have the, the shaman and the black guard here. Does the shaman Fight cover you. the black yeah, guard? Yeah, they're orcs, right? That orcs, uh, not the no, same as orcs, though. Are they orcs, not orcs? You need, oh, you no. need an orc shaman, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, yes, so the orc shaman. Is that right? Orc the orcs. Six orc, he'll protect the six orc trackers and nothing else. And the siege bow, to be fair. He's taken um, for the five plus transfix. Captain is fight five, strength five, D7. Two attacks, two wounds. There you go. Four. Oh, with, and I'm still, I'm still... a special rule for the Dark Lord. Well, at least one while well, one friendly Ringwraith model is on the battlefield, treat the captain as that courage value six. Epic. And we have a drummer in there as well, which affects mortal Urka. So at least it's going to hit the other black guard. Oh, no. That's. I mean, you're not that fussed if it's missing your tracker, though. It's a bit of a shame your shamans can get stuck behind. But... Yeah, that's what I'm. I wonder if they knew that. Yeah, you're right. It's Urukai. Oh, that's unfortunate. But, I mean, Shaggy that is unfortunate. Up, yeah, I mean, you'll be C four with the army the fury, though. So, 
Maybe you won't need it. Will you, will you be know. Civil War for the Army Bars? Yeah, 32 models probably isn't hitting that, that high. Don't think you will be in this, this in this tournament. Not a, no, definitely not in this tournament. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me or the other three people that didn't get the memo. So um, if you break this, it still has more models than you, George. <laughs> the time you break it, it will definitely, <laughs> definitely have more models than you. Okay, but it's also a very cool list, right? Like Black Guard, oh, super cool. never seen on the table. Mm. And Jagrat, amazing leader. Yeah. Mortal Siege Bar. It's like a yeah, funky phenomenal. mortal list that you need it's to get to see. A funky mortal list. And I personally think that despite questions about the quality of Black Guard, they look super cool. I think I, I like them a lot more after I watched the Game of Thrones episode, which had like a big shield walling thing, and I was like, they sort of look like human black guard. And then I decided to like the black guard a lot more than I do. It's some new level nerd stuff there, George. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> Nerdception. I've learned way too much about you. I feel uncomfortable. Hot take. Um, hot take on this. Hear me out here. Thoughts uh, on paying an extra point on each of these black guard to give them axes instead? Are they axes that embedded in the sculpts? Or? I mean, I just think they should be piercing up to strength six. That's what I think. Anyone else? Yeah, you go know, for it. In for a penny, That's in for cool. a pound, you know? I like it. <laughs> exactly. I really like it, actually. You know, I they're really all cave trolls at that point. That's cool. Hey, I'm running like fours D6. for all their D6. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. That is a hot take. Well done. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I get one in a million right. Yeah, like a, a thousand monkeys with a thousand typewriters. It was the <laughs> best of times. It was the blurst of times. <laughs> the blurst of times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so classic, I can always bring it back to a reference. Yeah, classic yeah. Denny, classic <laughs> Denny Simpsons non sequitur. We love it. Yeah. I think um, I think we got the end here. This is the last list. I think this is my favorite one. I think that, I, that's cool. Okay, can you can you give us a quick scroll back through? And it's sure lowish face, please. Yeah? So sure, they're right we've, got, third and one's the best one. we've got some wild Mordor stuff you love to see. Mm. We've got the name of this list is definitely Wild Mordor. Wild Thorin. Mordor. We've got Thorin's Company. Mm. Nothing the best. We've got Balrog and some things to get in the way. We've got Riders of Rohan done right. B, Riders of Rohan. B. We've got Riders of Rohan done wrong. Riders of Rohan A. Riders of Rohan. Animated purely by spite. <laughs> uh, we've got many, 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 many no. goblins. If this no. isn't a spite for Moria, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we've got a break in the fellowship Great. and a break in the hard, fellowship. Yeah. Great. yeah, not to like those. Yeah, Helm's Guard, Legion of Legion. Mm. Oh, Helm Hammerhead, the Huntsman, the Huntsman, and the Huntsman. Mm -hmm. It feels like days ago we were looking at this. That Mouth of Sauron double spider one's pretty cool. Uh, no spoilers. No spoilers, Jenny. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the people watching this in reverse haven't seen it yet. Uh, <laughs> Fangorn with four Ents and two very small Hobbitses. Phenomenal. We've got uh, this. Yes, the Mouth of Sauron spoilers. and many spiders. That's, for, that's, really, that's very, very cool. So much fun. Also wild as well. Mm. All right. We've got uh, Assault on Lothlorien. The, best, the better Assault on Lothlorien. <laughs> Six Wag Riders. The correct number uh, of Wag Riders. Uh, and Prowlers. Uh, have you heard of Prowlers before, Jenny? <laughs> and we've got uh, the second Bad. best Assault on Lothlorien. <laughs> second best. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, with some Prowlers and some Wag Riders, but not really enough of either. Not at all. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. Just... And he doesn't know the names of his heroes. <laughs> Hugely Leave Murray alone. <laughs> I, think, I think it's awfully unprofessional from Damien to allow that. To That's sport. true, actually, yeah. Exactly. Okay. He's, he told me he'd check these lists. That's really, <laughs> really a lie. <laughs> uh, Rivendell. The lesser known heroes of Rivendell. 33 mm. Rivendell models, 600 points. It's more than George. Even after breaking. <laughs> <laughs> He's also going to be higher fight than everything George has as well. You could count your <laughs> horses, George, and it would still be a low model count. AM is going to be striking, okay. striking to beat Nolder and Exiles if he can catch them. Incredible. Uh, Lutz of Scouts, 
mm-hmm. with uh, two banners, no drum, and loads of scouts with one banner, one drum. Another captain. And another captain. Yes, good spot. We've got Azogs. Oh, yeah. Times Azogs, cool. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Bog, the only one to stand a chance against the Melrog. Mm-hmm. We've got Corsairs of Umbar. Um, six, 16 crossbows. Right, next. next. <laughs> um, Isengard. <Ugh. laughs> yep, yep. So, lots of scouts, but not really. Yep. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we've got, and finally, Minas Tirith. The list down here like is Minas Tirith. One. I yeah, this like one's this cool. One. This one is I cool. Think yeah. This is my favorite. This one or mouth with double spiders is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, mouth with spiders is dope too. Yeah. Or, or maybe the Rivendell Guild or yeah. that's also it's cool to see these those kind of new idea ones. Hey, I'm really pleased yeah, that yeah, there's exactly. like stuff that I've never seen before still after all this time. All right. Well, and some things that we have seen before. I think we have seen before. <laughs> so, George. And we probably shouldn't be seeing again, really. <laughs> this should um, never have been revived. The, the world's moved on, but uh, not George. So that's, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, and that was the League Goes South list review. Are we hyped, fellas? Definitely. I'd be hyped if it wasn't 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. But... <right>. yeah. <laughs> I'm hyped. I'm hyped. No, I'm hoping the road trip excited. down. Road trip yeah, down is the best part. Sam's flying down to Christchurch and we're driving down together. And uh, I'm hoping we've got secured a young Peter to come with us. Um, no, I'm very excited for this weekend, boys. It'll be so much fun. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Looking forward to seeing you people out there in Cyberland. Smash that like and subscribe button, yo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll, I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. So I'll edit it out. Okay. All right. yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, well, um, <laughs> on that note, um, it's been a pleasure doing this with you guys. Well, see you again soon, I'm sure. Yes, we will. We will. Busy, busy. Talk year. to you after you stop hitting record. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>